It's still warming. We are live. We are live. Come on, jazz hands. Let's see the jazz hands, baby face. Baby face, there he goes with the jazz hands. Walter's doing the jazz hands. Okay, you guys can take off your Who Move My Freedom uh, diapers. I'm in withdrawal from Who Move My Freedom panties. You can take those off and go commando because <laughs> it's about to be on. <laughs> we are back. We are live. <laughs> And uh, what is this episode? I think it's episode 305 of the Who Moved My Freedom podcast. It's free for all Monday. Oh, God. Look, check it out. Look, there there goes there goes Walter. Walter Face Keller. There he goes. Right there. Rocking some kind of uh, M1, M1 carbine. Yeah, M1 carbine. There goes Baby Face P. There he goes. Uh, Hank Ooh, Face. Face. Hank Ooh, Face Ooh, Strange Ooh. right here. Uh, I'm like a teenager. I'm still breaking out. Uh, yeah. I don't know what the hell is going on? But uh, there we go. Oh, there's adapters. We're gonna talk. Forty nine ninety five. Get them while they last. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy Walter. <laughs> if anyone remembers, I know Babyface is not gonna remember this. Crazy Eddie. Oh yeah, the, or if, uh, yeah, Crazy Eddie. Yeah, the New Yorkers out there will remember Crazy like Eddie. Like a client store or something, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. He was that guy was legitimately crazy. I don't know if he's still. I think he got out of prison, but he. Oh really? Yeah, they had all these big deals and stuff like that, but he wound up in prison. I think he did some kind of Ponzi scheme. Oh, imagine so, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So put that all to the side. Forget that you even heard that. Breaker, breaker. No Ponzi That's schemes. Picture, yeah, no Ponzi schemes going on here. We are back. We're back. Uh, this is our official – we, we did come back for the Larry Zanoff show that we did. If you missed that, you're going to have to go back and look at episode 304, Larry Zanoff, Hollywood Weapons – they are are they on air tonight, Walter? Uh today's the seventh, that? isn't it? Yeah, I think I it think is it's, tonight or was last night, one or the other. I think it's uh yeah, I think it's tonight on the outdoor channel. One of these nights. I don't have the outdoor uh babyface, do you have the outdoor channel? No, we uh, got rid of cable over winter. All these things we got so much to talk about now. We got rid of season cable. three airs tomorrow. That was three days ago when they posted that. So. Okay. So it should it should be up on the outdoor channel. Yeah. Um yeah. And then I think there's some other places. The rest of us who don't actually have cable. Netflix and Netflix yeah. and one of those other ones. I forget. Yeah, one we'll get it. But please yeah. do support Larry Zanoff. Very good show. He yeah. was on. So shout out to that. We're going to talk mostly today about uh, Shot Show. Shot Show. Is that coming coming up right? soon? Yes, oh. that's coming up in like two and a half. Uh, two uh, weeks. Uh, maybe uh, yeah. next year. My, uh, my containers leave on Wednesday. So. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we've got like two weeks because we're we're gonna do this week and half of next week, and then we're gonna break again to go to Shot Show. So that's come that's how close it is. I've been buying stuff on eBay too. Yeah, Walter's gonna show us all his presents, <laughs> as I'm sure Babyface P is all the presents I this that Walter for bought. From I, this wasn't no yeah. present. This yeah. was my I call own. dibs. I call dibs on that, Walter. It's supposed to be a Korean War vintage cartridge belt. Yeah. Ah, that's cool. That's yeah. like a bat utility belt right there. I want oh, that. Oh, it was something about the old smell of canvas, too. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's all musty, kind of, you know. Yeah, like canvas like, and Cosmoline are my favorite. There you go. Woo. What does it smell like? Old record players? I was like, uh, old record. That's, you know, think about old smells that you, from your, I don't know I, if you did a lot of dumpster diving in your youth, but I did a little bit of dumpster diving. <laughs> No, nope, yeah. can't I did, it none. I did no dumpster diving. Really? You never yeah. reused things in the city that people threw away? No, I never did. This is why I'm broke. Only the rich people did the dumpster diving. <laughs> Man, we would this if I had some of the stuff literally that I pulled out of some dumpsters, like old typewriters and those old vintage TVs with the oh yeah. You know, because yeah. back in the 70s, when you were know, as a kid, people were throwing that shit away because who wants that old TV or typewriter? No. Right? But you know what? If you would have bought, if you would have dumpster dived and put all that stuff into storage, you will be a multi. I can sell it all to independent studio services. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Be very, very, very rich. That's that the is true. Of, that's the stuff of movies now. So. Absolutely. Hell's yeah. yeah. Hell's yeah. Um, and then so Babyface is gonna Babyface is gonna tell us what's going on with him. But we are gonna we're gonna talk about Shot Show. Like what I want you guys to do. Uh, start thinking about what do you want to see at SHOT yeah. Show? Yeah, what what are the see? things you're excited about? Yeah. We'll talk about this. You know, See, nowadays, before, everyone used to wait until SHOT Show, right? Yeah. Now it's all um, pre-SHOT Show. <laughs> yeah. So now, yeah, now, now, they, now they, 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 shoot they shoot their wad, they shoot their yeah. wad before the show starts. And then, yeah. 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 I mean, absolutely. Really, 
when you think about it, that's kind of the only way to get something recognized because there's so much crap there that yeah. you got to get something out before, and then you get people to go see it while you're yeah. while it's, it's hard. It's hard to do. I mean, and 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 it costs money too. And so if you're if you're on a limited budget, man, you know, mm -hmm. or you're not Sig or Colt or <laughs> HK yeah. or. Yeah, I think a good marketing strategy for a lot of smaller companies, Walter, mom and pop companies like yourself and others out there, um, you know, find some find some YouTubers and stuff like that, and you know, and leak, self leak everything. So, <laughs> I can't hold back. I can't hold back. <laughs> incontinence, incontinence. Yeah, that works. Um, that works well in the mark in the world of marketing. Yeah, you got to do it. I, I hate to say, you almost you got to do it year round. So. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Everything is so everything is so competitive now. That, you yeah, gotta, you got to troll everyone. Yeah, I mean, become a troll. Listen, Patrick can show you how to troll people. <laughs> I'm good at that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, He's an excellent troll. I don't like know. Just gotta, we just got to release the uh, the Glock XXXXL with a 55 round magazine okay. and okay. A, a 43 inch uh, to 43 uh, slide. Okay, okay, right okay. okay. <laughs> now, listen, Glock. Listen. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Old school Glock 17. Do you take that new single stack gun you got? Just double stack it. Leave off all the Picatinny rail and all the fancy mounting points for all that. You just bullshit. want a Gen One Glock? <laughs> I want a Gen One motherfucking Glock. You want a you want a piece of Tupperware that shoots nine millimeter? <laughs> you, okay. You so you want to watch something that'll sell like the fast as they can make them? Bring back the single pin. Gen 1 yeah. Glock 19 or yep. 17. Old school. Yeah. Boom. Well, okay. So we're talking about the Glock 43X. X, and the Glock X, 48. X, 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 yeah. L. The Glock 48, Triple X. Which it's a weird, <laughs> it's a weird kind of thing. I was looking at um, I don't I'm sure you guys have heard about all of this already because it happened over the Christmas slash New Year's break or whatever. So I don't really have to put up links. But I was looking at the firearm blog, had something on this. And we should, uh, you know what we should we should give shouts out to uh the firearm rack. I actually read it there first. Oh, really? And oh, and I think the firearm blog or, or one of them pointed back to Patrick Carr's website. Well, good yeah. for him. So there good you go. Him. Yeah. What I thought was so so. Let's get into this since we're getting into it. My apologies for everyone that, that didn't get the shout outs. We'll get to the shout outs uh, if not today, tomorrow. I will <laughs> do shout outs. Thanks for everyone for pouring in. Please do hit the thumbs ups. <laughs> just change we, your diaper. Yeah, hang on. We'll be sorry, guys. There's just too much to talk about. It's been we've yeah. been off for too long. Yeah, it's too much. <laughs> and we haven't actually seen each other, so that's why yeah, we're really yeah. I owe, yeah. I got some stuff for Hank I gotta bring tomorrow. I got yeah, two busy but, today. Anyway. But check so check this out. So thumbs ups, uh, make sure you're subscribed, ring the bell, all that kind of good stuff. At the same time, uh, you know, if you have a chance, open up another window and go over to uh YouTube slash Stranger Palooza or go look up the Stranger Palooza channel because we need people to subscribe to that. That's the car side of what we're doing for all you guys that like cars. So anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna post this link. Um I'm gonna post this link from the firearm blog here. I don't have Patrick R's link, but um I do suggest you you read his stuff and check it out. So this is from the firearms blog, and I was looking at it. There's a video there and all that kind of stuff of the 43 and the 48, and it I think it was from uh, James Reeves. And here's what I thought was funny looking at the video that's attached to that. In the beginning of the video, he says, I feel like I'm living in a golden age of Glock. <laughs> And I just laugh for like five minutes. I, I feel like somebody that can't remember all the damn numbers. Holy freaking, how many model numbers they is got? This, is, this is this really a Glock Golden Age? Do you guys think this is a Golden Age? No. Yeah, okay. I, I didn't think so. This was the Golden Age of let's make it and watch how fast everybody, <laughs> watch how fast everybody copies it. Yeah, so let's stop here for a second. Yeah. We got a shout out, Forge from Freedom, Sam. He um he gave us nineteen ninety nine. Thank you very much. We appreciate that. <laughs> Sam says, uh, "Good evening. I'll be hiking Yukon on an expedition and oh. out of service when Shot Show's on. <laughs> you lucky bastard." Uh, but somehow I think I won't be missing much. Oh boy. Oh but wait a minute. He put a smiley face there. It says, <laughs> Let oh, it's a Shot Show. He means well, yeah, yeah for Shot Show. You'll, you'll probably miss getting sick. <laughs> that's what you'll probably miss. Oh yeah. God, does that happen? Is that does the flu go around? Yeah. Uh, the convention in the, flu and the, the colds yeah. and the, and yeah. the mung, people get I've the heard, mung. Yeah. I've heard um 
this is super off topic, but uh, people that have gone to uh, the convention for World of Warcraft for Blizzard, same thing happens. People like everybody spreads their disease to everybody else. Yeah, we got the airplane. You got the air flight. Yeah, we got the airports. You got the air air flight. The airport. The airplane. Then you get the shot, and you're touching the same stuff that everybody, oh, that else, everybody else has put their touch bits on. Ugh. You know, I think about that, and it's like, oh, that's right. <laughs> God, oh, think how many people are gonna that Glock forty, whatever the hell it is, will be like. It'll be like it came off of Hiroshima. It'll be so radioactive. With <laughs> you shit. should just keep like a, a travel size spray of. Uh, I was thinking off. about wearing rubber gloves. Yeah, actually. like wearing a. <laughs> All I do is drink orange juice the whole time. Yeah, well, that don't do yeah. it though, man. You know, if you it, get the good case of the mug, you're going down. No, yeah. If you get sick, it's forget about it. Yeah, forget about forget it. Forget about it. Man. So here, okay. Oh. So let's get to one thing. Thanks to uh, Sam from Forge for Freedom, by the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, for giving us the money. We appreciate it. I did want to tell you guys um, something while I'm here. Let's okay. just do some shout outs before we get into this. Uh, Sam did make, he did make that shirt. It says, <sighs> make Florida the gunshine state again. So Love Forge it. from Freedom does have that. And I have, I've ordered one, uh, at least one patrick and walter so you guys will see us wearing those that's my uh i'm excited that's my uh that's your payment for this whole oh, entire year, I, I love it this is 2019 prepayment <laughs> yes <laughs> that's all you're getting paid <laughs> for this year but those are they're available now on forge from freedom and we're going to be doing some other stuff uh with sam so uh do look forward to that we're going to be doing some other uh t-shirts and and things like that going on so you guys be on the lookout for that yeah, so, I'm bringing some hand sanitizer, Richard. Yes. So, but you know, um, you can only put so much alcohol in your system on your hand before <laughs> they just rot and fall off. You know, it's like yeah. I think I think it's like with kids. You know, it's better. You know how they say it's better to let the kids pick up the uh, oh, the germs. God, but you got to suffer for like a month afterwards. Oh man. <laughs> well, yeah. if you're gonna if you're gonna use that thing, then like I see some of the the, the pre shot show videos or suggestions get 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 your drinking on now too because it's so funny the for after the first night is shot these sales types show up the next morning and I they're all like uh, <laughs> yeah. they're just ever, around like zombies you know it's the like local <laughs> the local pimps and coke dealers make a lot of money during have you ever been courted by uh like a sales type company oh it's amazing we uh back when i was working at groove shark we were taken to dinner a couple times by advertisers um ad agencies Oh my God, those dudes know how to spend some money <laughs> on liquor. Oh God. A lot of those guys are like straight out of a movie as far as I'm Seriously. concerned. And they are. And totally. they are coked up. And you do see a lot of people walking around shot show with hookers. Because, you know, of course, it's legal. <laughs> in, <laughs> Wait, is it really? Not, not, in, yeah. not in that county, it's not. Oh, well. What Outside else? of that <laughs> county, yes. But. It's like weed in Jamaica. You just kind of look the other way. It's yeah. not technically legal. <laughs> yeah. Lots of stuff should be legal in America, but that's a whole <laughs> – I know that's a conversation that we are going to get into. Let's get back to this article that I put up We're talking, Yeah, talking Glocks, right? We're talking about the Glocks. So yeah, yeah. are we – I, I want to get this from you guys. I want to get this – let's start with Walter. Okay. Walter, are we in a golden age of Glocks? Everyone in the chat, let us know. Yes or no? Is this the golden age? Um, we are in the golden age of copycat. Where? <laughs> and, what I, and what I mean by that is everybody's got to do what everybody else is doing. Yeah. In the pistol thing. So SIG comes out with their small, um, high capacity nine. And it's like, oh, look, what we, well, we need one of those too. And don't forget about the new Mossberg too. Which yep. is basically a, a, yeah. A, yes, we are going to get to that one. <laughs> and so, which, that yeah. really interests me more than the Glock, though, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, let's stick with Glocks. Babyface, okay. golden age of Glocks, yes or no? There's no carbine. I'm waiting for the carbine. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> oh, come on. There's come, no carbine. Babyface. I know where you're going with Welcome this. to the party, Babyface. <laughs> Finally, where the hell is the carbine? Never going to happen. Where's uh -huh. the carbine? Uh, we're going to talk about this later. Sig has a freaking carbine. And uh, no, well, I mean, you know, they've had a carbine, but they just made a really oh, small yeah. one. Yeah, let me, yeah. Let, and we'll talk about why they did that too. Coming so up. let's talk about the uh, 43X and the 48. Basically the same gun. I, so I don't understand the naming whatsoever. No, no, no. The 48 is the size of a Glock 19, but it's a single stack. So it's real yes. narrow. Yeah, but the 43, the Glock 43X and the Uses 48. the same grip? 
but a shorter it's, slide. Yeah, the same gun, just a longer. Yeah, just yeah, longer. Yeah, yeah. So you're getting a longer slide. So I why? Understand so the why was? The, so why is it a 43x? It can't even use a Glock 43 magazine. It does oh because yeah it doesn't so no it should be its own number it, they yeah. should have made it its own what number. is going on <laughs> um i i do i do see the so the 43x is how i feel about the 19x i think it's going to be really dumb the 48 i do think i i don't know that i would own and shoot one a lot but i could see somebody like marley enjoying a 48. i would like to have the single stack nine like that. i i could see it i would give uh, it a try i feel i feel that feels like um is a slide narrower and everything too? Or yes, no? every yeah. arrow. Yeah. Oh, so it then I, I so I get my torque rev going on then. So basically, yeah, what they, much. What, basically <laughs> what happened here is like you were talking about copying Walter. Yeah. Basically, Glock decided to copy that, um, like stack and a half kind of thing instead of double stack. Right, right, it's right. Kind of a staggered, stack and a half. It's a staggered single stack. Yeah, that that the uh, P365 has. Right. So that's why it's using a totally different magazine. So you can't use your Glock 43 magazine. I no do Korean think, mags? No. Not well, someone's going to probably make them. Someone's <laughs> going to probably make them. But for those of us that carry Glock 43s like I do, that, there's my Harry's holster, by the way, uh, code Hank Strange. Yep. That gets you 10% off from Harry's holster. Shout out to them. Uh, we should go ahead, Babyface. You're showing got you've got same. a Harry's holster also. Holster. There you go. Yeah, there you go. Um, and Harry's holster is like uh, their their um, their sponsor of the Hank Strange situation now. So and he makes good shit. Like <laughs> we're gonna do some just, videos. We're not just chilling for him. He makes really good shit. <laughs> oh come on, yeah. you chill. You. I will proudly we'll for some, chill like for him. Harry. Yeah. Harrison is a good dude, mm -hmm. and he's putting uh, he's putting some tech into what he's doing. So I will proudly yeah. do that. Um, but here, so so. So the thing about it is that you can, it doesn't use the same magazines and everything, but it is slim and all that. And it does kind of have what people have been asking for because it's got the, it's concealable with the grip, but a longer barrel. So yes, the 48 to me looks more interesting than, I don't, I don't understand the whole stupid naming of the 43X. It's, it's kind of, yeah, it's. Because oh, it doesn't use looking. well. Did the the nineteen X does it use seventeen mags? Oh man, it does it uses no, seventeen no. mags? Right, it doesn't use nineteen mags, so it's kind of yeah. the same thing. Yeah, and well, they're both equally. Stupid. I'm just I'm just continuing with that. that yeah, there's a. Uh, <laughs> yeah, oh, I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, none of us have shot any of these guns yet. Nope. We'll see if we can get our hands on them. I'm going to try to take some uh, comments from people out there if it's related to the Glock stuff right now. Um. We haven't shot these yet. We'll try to get our hands on it. Only the the very special people have I, done that so far. Glock, it's funny <laughs> the people that Glock uh, brings on to do their like shooting. It's like two or three internet people and then a ton of writers, gun writers, mostly the old school gun writers. Yeah, it's you so weird to me because who reads gun magazines anymore? Um, yeah. I don't know. Oh, I, I, I get everything. I, I do know some of those guys, and they are cool. But you know, I'm sure they are. But they, they are kind of dinosaurs. It's, it's a dying. It's a dying breed. <laughs> yeah. So let's see. I'm gonna try to go through some of these comments here real quick. Razor JB says for 43 owners, the 43X and 48 slides interchangeable and function. Uh, uh, the other thing. Okay. So turn into four. Quick question: How do you guys feel about the silver slides from the factory? I like my Glock's black. That's so weird to me. That is uh, um, ugly ass is the best way. That okay, I'll it's not just me, right? The yeah, black, I don't like it. I don't black like ten first slides on Glocks is like is like my thing. I like that. <laughs> yeah, I guess they're trying to. Who has that? Does Sig have that? Silver? No. Yeah, I that's don't... silver. Who has it? Is it Taurus? Oh, there you go. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't like that. I don't like the two tone. Um, <laughs> Razor JB says you just rattle can it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see what else we got here. Um, Armament Axis once says, is that pink? You are a real brony. What is he asking me if it's pink? I don't know. You, yeah. I, you're, oh, you're your holster. Oh, my holster? Is no, it's it 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 is carbon. <laughs> Look at that. It's carbon fiber. It's a carbon oh, fiber man. pattern. It's red. It's red. Okay. It's red. It's racing carbon fiber red. Can you see the pattern? It's Ferrari red. That's a better one. Ferrari. Yeah, there you go. Ferrari red. There you go. Of course, Indian red. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, so, oh, by the way, for anyone, um, I, I did do some videos. I did, well, I at least got one video posted while we we're talking about Glocks. 
on the full conceal folding Glock. Um, so you guys should check that out too. Okay. And I'm working, I'm working on getting a code for people out there who are interested in that. Let me know. Get you some money off of it. We will we'll send that out. Okay, let's see. Let me uh, try to hit up. So, no, uh, I'm not really a brony. I do still have the bag. I was going to return it to Walmart, but you all want to see me keep that bag. So, I guess I can't return it and get my money back. We can, we can tan write that bag. Yeah. Uh, ah. Disciple gave me five bucks. Disciple says, uh, gave us five bucks. He says, for the brony video you made while you were gone. Okay, there you go. Somebody yeah. was watching. Brian Quick, uh, Carr was using was doing single stacks in the 90s. Carr is always, like, to me, the new Glocks, the two single stack Glocks, look just like car guns that have yeah. been around for, like, 20 right, years. I yeah. Yeah. I think what, what's happening is that Glock is finally listening to people. I don't understand this golden age bullshit, though. I'm sorry. No, I hate to come back to We're <laughs> not in a freaking golden age from Glock. <laughs> there, no, Glock's there's... so far behind the curve, it's, um, it's ridiculous. Let me, let me explain golden age when the 17 first came out. That was the golden age. I don't, I don't know. My, my Gen 4s were pretty golden age to me. Because you get the finger groove, no, which there, I love. Nothing, there wasn't anything else like that then. Yeah. And then, and then the, and then the stippling, the the texturing on Gen Four is fantastic. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a Gen um, Four gold major person. Well, listen, I do agree with Walter. If Glock wants to do something and just like uh, basically How tweak they? what they've already done, um, then I think it would be cool to see a reissue of like the. I was just about to say, 1988 is when it. Several modified versions of Glock 17 have been introduced. No, that's the L. 82 is when it came out. Yeah. They should do like a, a centennial of some kind. Exact Never. same packaging, everything. Yep, yep. I would then, buy one. Then offer that in the FDE, and people would eat that shit up. I would buy if they made a centennial version. Or are whatever. they going to sell it for the price it was in 1980? It's probably it's not price. a lot different. It to be yeah, it's not usually probably the same price. Yeah. <laughs> um, I carry my revolver in single action. Says the 43x is for people who live in 10 round restricted states, and for people okay. who don't want to carry. Um, Why do you? Uh, Glock 26. Why do you think the uh, high point is so successful? Yeah. It's and, cheap as hell. Yeah. <laughs> because of a 10 round magazine thing in a lot of places. Yeah. I agree with Patrick. The number one thing is it's cheap <laughs> as hell. Well, <laughs> and, then, and then, cheap. yes, the 10 rounds. <laughs> with, with, their, with their carbines, that's why they offer a 10 round magazine because you buy it anyway. Okay. But there is no high point that you can conceal carry. I'm sorry. Well, I mean, obviously, you can. You can <laughs> that, carry wait, a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is that a high minute. point in your rocket? Or you, just have you, wait, you, wait, you, you obviously haven't watched the move, the, some of the videos with the brothers, have you? <laughs> <laughs> Um, listen, I, yes, I know that I know that those high points are uh, very That's why they got popular, those baggy, uh, those baggy yeah. ass pants down on the ground because their yeah. pockets are full of high points. Uh, Big Dick Willie says Silver Age. We're in the Silver Age. I hate it. I don't, I don't like it. I yeah. like my black nitrite finish. Yeah, we're gonna get to we're gonna get to some uh politics, okay, guys. I know that you guys didn't get your chance to vent because there's a lot of political shit going on. Trust me, we're all mad. The government shut down. Nobody's getting their checks. So Nobody's getting their determinations is. either from ATF tech branch either. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and then someone said out there, like, the Shield, the Shield has been doing it for a long time. Look at how long it took Glock to do what, like, the, you know, to deliver what the Shield delivered, right? Yeah, yeah. It took a I long time. Personally, I don't like the ergonomics of the Shield. I never have. It's never fit my hand. And that's coming from somebody who really likes the it, new MMPs. The shields always felt too skinny and too like too thick in the finger, the back strap to the finger yeah. grooves. And you have smaller hands. I and never I do. I have pretty small hands. Yeah, I didn't like the shield for that reason. Lola has a shield, but she's been telling me lately that she wants to get something else. She's thinking I like the way it. the fields actually. Oh, okay, and you got big meaty hands, Walter. Uh, Lola, I think is thinking about a P three sixty five. I hear. Do it. I love it. That's the. That's Everybody the wants to shit on it, but I love mine. Yeah. That's the rumor. I mean, I think there's people out there that um, I know there's some people that have problems with the 365s. You hit over a thousand rounds, baby face. You didn't have and any issues, right? I so I did. I did a little bit of research, and supposedly what Sig is saying is is 0.08 percent of the guns have been returned. Um, okay. It's just it's just always the vocal minority. But and yeah, we, yeah, nothing. And we we um, I think um, you're not the only one because we did a video with Tom. Tom has one, I, uh, and he he isn't any problems as far yeah. as I know. Yeah, some uh, that's Tom. Who you guys? I, I don't know whether you know or not, but that's Tom 
from uh, BDU. Okay, so do you guys, let's talk about the... Uh, Moss should, we go, should we go to the Moss <laughs> <laughs> The MC1. It's I, basically <laughs> a Glock 43. What improvements? It uses you, Glock magazines. You don't have to... And one of the safety things... Does, wait, no, no, no. Does it actually use Glock magazines? Yes. yes. And yes. That's, <laughs> that's, that's golden. That's amazing. <laughs> but it uses Glock 43 magazines. They might have wanted to wait a little bit. Oh, yeah, and gotten the other ones. <laughs> because I think that the 48 magazine is probably... Well, it'll still take the 48. You just can't put the 43 in the 48. But you can put the 48 in the 43. I'm confused. Uh, yeah, You can I put the long know. one in the little gun, but you can't no, put no, no. the little it's, one. Uh, it's going to be loose because there's a thickness issue with these magazines from what I saw. In they the don't, video. yeah, they, they don't have, they won't have like the, it's like putting one of these in a, a smaller gun. You're going to have that sticking out the bottom, but mm -hmm. it should work, I think. We yeah. had some, we had some about the big, small thing. We had somebody in the shop today that had a dog that had a, a, a chihuahua and a, I think a boxer had made sweet love. And made oh, the boy. weirdest dog that's, ever. That's the, I think it was some some big dog. A in a chihuahua, chihuahua and a boxer. So I could just imagine like a little tiny dog with a big massive head. Yeah. <laughs> so that was that whole magazine thing. You got me thinking about that again. <laughs> big dog, little dog, big yeah. mag, small mag. You know, I don't know. Yeah. So what's this? Uh, okay. So the Mossberg one is called the MC1. Yes. One. I don't know what's going. It's got it's got a rap name. So maybe they're trying to sell it to. <laughs> As no, Walter puts no, it, the brothers. There, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm just messing. I'm just it's messing. Gonna, there there gonna, are improvements on that gun, though. Um, you know how in the Glock you got to pull the trigger to take the slide mm -hmm. off. Mm -hmm. You don't have to do that on that gun. Okay. So, so you, one, I'm sensing I, I, that you I, I, like I, this. You like than, it, Walter. More than one person has shot somebody or something pulling that trigger to take the slide off. Here's the real question: What's the price going to be? It's cheaper than a Glock, and probably going to be say, cheaper. It, if it's cheaper than a Glock, it might be a win. Yeah. Um, so, I, I mean, I think the jury's out for me. Walter, you're saying you're happy? You're, you're looking forward to it? Yeah, I'd like to see one. I'll see the shot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I would look at it. I, I just, I like the 43. I, even though I carry a 365 and I may have sold my 43, I still really like the 43. Yeah. So, once again, we, we have not shot any of these guns. I have looked at videos on the uh, MC1. And um, it, it looks like it's kind. It looks a little bit to me like the uh, oh man, what's the name of that? Uh, what's the name of that? Um, the XD. It looks like an XD ish. A of little bit, the, yeah. Well, first, lines in it. First thing I did when I saw that gun was, oh man, where's this made? Is it made in Turkey? It's actually made here. Yeah, it, yeah. I mean, Mossberg makes a. Little they make so, some stuff here. So here's the thing about here's the whole story about this, and this is what cracks me up about marketing. Um, because a lot of the marketing people that work for these companies do not believe that anyone has the internet. So, <laughs> so Mossberg marketing says, you know, we've been doing this since 1800 something. <laughs> right? Right, right. And this is not their first pistol. So they've like, so when I look at the stuff, they're like, we put a hundred years of experience since oh, our, because they built one pistol, a 20. What other pistols did they make? They built it was a, a multi-barrel kind of, a. Uh... Hard uh, pistol? Standard manufacturing looking. Yeah, thing. it was like a Derringer kind of thing that you, you could take four rounds at a time. And when you oh. pull the trigger, it, I guess it kind of like clicked around or something. Mm -hmm. um, and it was it was popular and all that. But they built one thing that they stopped building, I don't know, 50, 60 years ago. They stopped building these things. Yet they're trying to tell us that they put 100 years of experience into the MC1. Uh, they basically copied Glock, so they put a hundred years of Glock's experience. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I, it's, you know, they just took it's it's polymer people. There's other <laughs> people that have taken the Glock and made it like a, a, a 1911. For those of you that have maimed your hands on 1911s and changed the grip angle, because I think that's one of the things about this. Yeah. So um, Razor JB says Mossberg pistol takes standard G43 mags. Not the 43X or 48. I don't think they're going to fit. So wait, the 43X mags aren't... They're, they're not just longer 43 mags? No, no. This what? Is, that's straight up stupid and crazy. <laughs> yes, what is the what? point? No, that's... That is, it you might as well discontinue, discontinue Glock 43s then. Yes, that's so <laughs> dumb. Because, I mean, what am I going to do now? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a Glock 43. I'm going to have two slim Glocks that the magazines can't switch between. That's so dumb. 
Yeah, I mean, you're going to have to get rid of your Glock 43 to go into the 43X or the 48. So why is it a 43X then? Does, does that make sense? Yeah, it's, it's not. <laughs> yeah. But they changed the grip angle on it, Walter. So I think that's one of the things you probably like about the, oh, the Mossberg. Oh, oh, no, no the, Mossberg. the Mossberg. What does it compare to? It's I, I guess it's more like a 1911 from what I hear, from what I read. That's um, not a big issue for me. In the reports, yeah. yeah. Um, I'll know right away. I'll pick it up and go like this once. And if it points and I see the sights right off the bat, it's good. That's it. If it doesn't, then <laughs> it's for yeah. somebody else. Uh, yeah. Um, Travis P11 says they're celebrating 100 years of gun manufacturer. No, I saw someone from Mossberg say that they put 100 years of experience into that gun, which they basically jacked from, from Glock yeah. and yeah. some other places. <laughs> That's bullshit. Um, DC2 Megaboo says Mossberg hybrid pistol. Um, Jafari H says, isn't CZ doing the P10 full size soon? Don't know. Uh, I Is that the 19 round? Because I picked one up today and it felt retarded. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I, went by, I went by the gun shop to pick up something else. Uh, Big Daddy Guns had one that well, I don't know what they're doing with it, but... It's a P10C, but it's a 19 round magazine. So it is like, it is like extended down to like okay. here. It is ridiculous feeling. <laughs> you guys have seen those parodies of the new Glock thing where it's like twice as long as normal. The grip. Oh my God. <laughs> so it's got a normal size, this little semi slide and the real long grip. Yeah. yeah. So I carry my revolver and eight single action says baby faces because they are 10 round magazines. <laughs> They just make it longer like why did they have to change dimensions of it yeah and vanessa kitty says how are you maiming your hands on 1911s because okay <laughs> god you gotta explain this so lots of people who in the olden days used 1911s are averse to glocks because they don't like the grip angle of a glock versus a 1911 grip angle you buy one of these. Uh, you, if you talk to an old person here, let me see. Let's call on our resident old person right here. <laughs> you, I wouldn't talk to him. He likes macro. <laughs> I, I like com block stuff. So yeah. Leave, yeah. Leave me alone. yeah, yeah, yeah. Walter's not good. Okay, babyface. Am I right or wrong on that? Uh, you're I, a yeah, 1911 I, guy. You like 1911s. Admit it. I do. I do. But I'm all over the place because I've I've had some Glock realizations lately that I, uh, with a suppressor, I think the Glock wins for me because the hump allows you to keep that that the weight of the suppressor pointed nicely so yeah i'm all over the place i like every yeah. gun mr one moa says the olden days question mark. i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just making fun of people there's a lot of people out there that say to me oh i don't like the grip angle so i get that i think if you if there's a gun that doesn't naturally work for you don't use it right. and i think that for people who are used to a 1911 they just don't like the angle of a Glock. And that's why Mossberg figured, hey, let's just make, you know, let's just copy Glock, change the grip angle, use the same magazine. Everybody's going to love it. And if the price is right, they might sell a crap ton of them. They probably will. Yeah. So. It goes um, just like everything else. If you drive a Chevy and that's all you drive and that's all your grandpappy drive, you'll buy a Mossberg because. It's the same shotgun you everybody in your family's had. <laughs> yeah. Um, just yep. like people buy Glocks, they'll go out and run out and get the 43 and the 48 and X this and X that just because. Just because they're fanboys. Oh. Yeah. Um, Richard Hughes says 32 minutes into the new year and first old Walter joke. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> um, and then Kiaski says, <clears throat> you talking about the hand meat slide bite from getting a high grip on a Glock question mark. I think that that does happen in some cases. That's why that's why Glock um, changed the back straps to where you can change and put the beaver tail on it. And that helps me. I do get that uh, like slide bite because I have big meaty fat hands. No, I am somebody that likes a good beaver though. <laughs> <laughs> who doesn't, who doesn't, you know, who does not like, a, a, who doesn't like a little, a nice beaver tail? So, you know, I think, I think that, look, here's the thing. There's a gun for everyone out there. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> and I think that this is going to be, in past years, it's been the year of the AR, the whatever. This year is probably going to be the year of the slim single stack pistol. Everybody and their mama is going to come out with one. AKA what's old is new again. Sorry. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Razor JB says, want the grip angle of a 1911, but can't shoot any better. Shake my head. Uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Listen, yeah. whatever works for people, whatever makes them feel comfortable. Yeah. yeah. Um, Simpson Road Larry says, what's everyone's opinion on a Salon Sorco hybrid cam? Oh, never mind. So, um, the what now? Did we do? Did we ever test a a, a hybrid can, Babyface? They're, they're good. I've I've seen okay. them before. They they have a battery in it. <laughs> 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 Gotta watch out for the mercury poisoning. It'll get you. Uh, I'm guessing that's something. Well, I don't know if that's anything like the Q, where you could switch parts. It's uh, 45 size, I think, but it'll take all the way up to like a 45. Um, not a long coal. What's the uh, uh, 4570. You can shoot a 4570 through it. It's rated for 4570. Okay. Lots uh, it's of pretty, I think that's the hybrid. Yeah. Lots of beaver jokes, by the way. <laughs> Lots of beaver jokes. Um, and then um, Kathleen Music Lover asked him around when they, if I was around when they invented a 1911. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, uh, no. what year did they invent the 1911? Um, I, I believe it was 1911. Anybody in the chat now? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was probably 1910. 19. <laughs> Well, okay. <laughs> From 1906 to 1910. <laughs> uh, okay, now let's see. What was the other new? Okay, let's talk about the Copperhead. Have you guys seen this? Let's let's, let's move on to the Copperhead. I'll throw it up here in the chat. S for MPX, MPX, MPX Shorty. Uh, what happened to my link? Hold on. Copperhead. I it's just a SIG it up MPX. here. <laughs> he asks. He says the 1911 was invented in 1962 <laughs> by uh, by the year we name? really went to the moon. 1962. <laughs> oh, don't start that. <laughs> Listen, did you guys see that the Chinese landed on the moon? Yes. What on the dark side of the moon? Well, of course, but then nobody can verify they're there or not. <laughs> <laughs> now we can start some whole new... And they're hooking up with the Nazis, okay? They're hooking up with the Nazis, you know what I'm saying? It's a Nazi resupply mission. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe the Chinese have landed on the moon. We can't even go back there. We supposedly landed uh, there. That is such a... That's not a good subject with me. So. so this MPX Copperhead, how does that... What does that do to your manufacturing, Walter? Because I thought you were making adapters for this. Um, not for Walter hasn't made any adapter for this specific. Well, one. we make one for the MPX, but that wouldn't work on that uh, copperhead because it's got a built in, it's got its own like rail system, yeah. Right? It's got its own thing, yeah. That, yeah, I mean, it's this, this is really ugly. I'm just gonna throw this out there. I it's agree. Let me show up my uh, my last wonton here, yeah, and I'll, and I'll tell you what this why they why yeah. they made this. Gun. So, babyface, describe it while Walter's chewing. <laughs> um, imagine you find the, the this girl with a massive forehead. Below the forehead, you're like, mm, she's got a pretty face. And then you see this master forehead, and you're like, ooh, oh that's what God. this has. The barrel sticks out the front, and then there's like this much gap between the barrel and the yeah. upper receiver. You, you might be a forehead guy. You might be one of those guys that likes a good forehead. I guess you got to to like this. <laughs> All right. Here. Uh, um, they should made this for the government contract okay. stuff coming up. Um, no other reason. It's not made for you civilians out there. They made it for the gov. So let me Dude, read this. this. That is a pistol brace, right? So it's right. yeah, it's made, it they're going to sell to some things, but oh, it's, just because, but it was wasn't designed for that. The reason it's got that integral um, stock assemblies for the government, yeah, well, that keep, keeps the overall length small to fit in their requirement for the PDW gun. That break yeah. too. That break looks like a exploded shell, like one of the uh, yeah. uh, inside of a shotgun shell. Uh, yeah, so here's what, the thing. So let's read through this. Um, so the Sig Rattler. This is on the uh, firearms blog. So uh, oh, you know, a reluctant shout out to the firearms blog today. Oh. Um, I hate shouting out the firearms blog because they refuse <laughs> to cover politics, but which is super adds. important right now. Yeah. Um, so uh, let me see who wrote this. Let's get okay. Pete wrote this. He says uh, Sig Rattler just got a baby brother. Just announced today is the Sig MPX Copperhead Ultra Compact. What the WTF? What nine the millimeter fuck? personal defense weapon? <laughs> so basically, it's the Sig MPX CUC nine millimeter PDW. <laughs> there's a lot of there's a lot of that in there. Okay, so it has a three and a half inch barrel. 
collapsing pistol stabilizing brace, a total overall length of uh, 14 and a half inches, <laughs> fully um, ambidextrous controls, and of course accepts current MPX magazines. Oh, wait, it's got Picatinny rail in the back still. Yeah, yeah and it does, which is even weirder. Yes, well, that's, big, that's so you can put the SIG stock on the back. In it. But then yes. you have the loops, the loops, brother, the loops. Might be in the way. They won't be in the way, I guess. It just makes it even uglier because you got this weird looking crap hanging off of it. Um, so here's the thing. Here, let's, uh, let me just get this part out and then we will deep dive into this. Integrated into the barrel is a muzzle brake, leaving me to wonder if the MPX copperhead can be easily suppressed. So you brought up the muzzle brake, Patrick. So yeah, like, are you gonna be able to suppress this thing? It's weird looking, right? Was it? Did you say it was integrated? Yes. That's uh, weird. I, I, don't, I don't believe that. <laughs> so it may be SIG, because SIG makes their own suppressors. Maybe they're going to have a suppressor that could go over this, but it's going to be proprietary. You know, the biggest Probably. thing I don't like about that gun is that funky fucking grip they put on it. It looks it it looks like, you know what that it looks is, like? That is just like, like a, it's that is insane. That is the same style of grip that came on my Rattler. It's, huh. it's smaller than normal. I can first thing I took off that thing and tossed that one. Um, it looks like they're doing everything to make it speed. Um, super slick. There's a, size, there's a size requirement for the government contract coming up. And that, yeah. that's why they that did it. fits it perfectly. Um, Just so happens that SIG makes uh, that and then the new machine gun. All and the Rattler the got picked. Then this one got picked. And yeah, I wonder how that picked. works. And that, that lovely drop drop uh, drop and fire pistol. And all that <laughs> yeah, stuff. Our, our army got a pistol that was never even fully tested. So has Patrick R. already drop tested the new, the new Glocks? And just kick test it. Drop <laughs> kick it. Right out a window. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so here's the thing that I think about this. When I look at this, I think... Uh, this, hey, SIG has made a carbine, a pistol caliber carbine, <laughs> and Glock still has not made one. Ooh, here we go. You know, think about that. This is basically they designed this to go into a backpack. That's what this is all about. This is designed to go into a backpack and be tiny, small. You can just get it in and out of there. Where, when do we get the when do we get the tactical ad like yeah. like uh, oh. SIG did for the Rattler? Walking oh, it's down coming. the white guy walking down the street. With the white shirt yeah, on in Afghanistan, yeah. or uh, well, everybody Iraq should be on the cell phone saying, "Yeah, shoot his ass, shoot his ass, shoot his ass." <laughs> yeah. Oh man. Um. You know what? The okay. Listen. Let me tell you something. The the worst part of this, I think, it's overall a good idea. It uses the same MPX magazine. Of course, I wish it used a Glock magazine. <laughs> no, 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 um. No. Overall, it's a good idea. I think that it's not attractive. I agree with Babyface on that. You know, it's not attractive. It's the, super ugly. The black version, <laughs> you're going to like this, Hank. The black version looks much better. Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> you know, black is beautiful, baby. You no, know, I, I typically like flat, dark earth, everything, but uh, you, no, that's that that is, Yeah. There's no putting lipstick on that pig. Two, um, two, two, hmm. two, that pig, all that pig needs is a different. <laughs> the thing your eyes go to right away is that goofy ass muzzle brake. Yes, and then the, the and that and that and that and that stylish uh, pistol grip. <laughs> well, I think the worst part of this is that it's going to be sixteen hundred dollars. It says it says MSRP is eighteen fifty. I thought. Oh well, there you go. It's worse. <laughs> Hold on, yeah, I think the MSRP is even so, worse than that. <laughs> to give you a little hint, boys, all you got to do is take your MPX and shorten it. Oh, pretty much the same thing. Oh. I already did. No, yeah. but they, but they did a whole bunch of stuff no, to make this. No. They did stuff to make this smaller and lighter. Like in that video that I did, um, that countdown video, I showed this gun, and uh, you know I like this gun, right? I well, like this gun. Lots of parts from uh, you got our parts from Gun Tech and the Firearms Farm and all that. But this is heavy, and also you know this is this is the stock clothes, by the way, Walter, which is. Does that look close to you? Because that's a carbine link buffer, that's why. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the thing is, is that I think they designed this to be smaller and lighter and all that kind of stuff. But we, I think we really do need something in this category. But I think it's ugly, too expensive. Oh, God. And, well, again, you know, it's not for us. It wasn't made for us. It's not going to yeah, be purchased by the us. operators. The operators. It's going to be purchased by government entities that have all of the tax dollars to spend that they want. Yeah, because the operators can afford to throw 18, 19. They're going to probably pay like 2500 or something. They can afford to throw that in the ocean when they're coming no. back from their mission. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Well, check, yeah, Shut check it them. down. 
You know, I've actually I've heard uh, one of the reasons for gu military guns, like um, what's the contractor here in the in Florida that makes Knights Knights, Knights Army. Army? Yeah, one of the reasons why they're so overpriced is because that gives them a lot of wiggle room when they negotiate prices. Um, um, when they go for bidding on contracts, they they give the top price and they're like, oh, well, we can cut a lot off the top to make it even cheaper. And, uh, and, and I think, well, some people have also built in like the there's a lot of bullshit. Liability. There's a lot of bullshit with government contracts, too. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. The contracts and the manual and the parts and the bullshit and the bullshit and the bullshit. So. so the Knights Armament stuff, do you think that part of it is because there's more uh, production or whatever that went into it, more expensive parts, or it's just complete markups? I think um, I, I find the Knights armament stuff is still expensive in the civilian market. The Knights so. ARs are are twenty, at least two, two thousand plus bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Um, Give me a BCM any day, all day, any day. I would buy it. There are some differences to the Knight stuff. When you look at the like the bolt head and stuff, they use a dual dual spring extractor and and things like that. But for the average person, is it worth the money? Nah. They're they have done some nice engineering changes that made some improvement to reliability and accuracy, like on the M110, stuff like that. They've done some improvements, but nobody nobody going out hunting will benefit from that. those things. No, yeah. no way. Would no. you say no to a Knight's Armament rifle? Oh, hell no. no. You gave it no to way. me. Hell no. I'd love it. <laughs> exactly. Well, exactly. I don't have to pay for it. Yeah, yeah if I, had a, I would BCM yeah. all day, every day. Yeah. Now, uh, let me ask you this question, and then I'm going to get on to something else from SHOT Show because we have some other stuff from SHOT Show. How about these? You think the contractors who just use? No. No? <laughs> Fuck no. Like no, 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 no. My experience, my experience, double <laughs> no, no, double no, no. No. Well, why can't the contractors I'll, just... I'll take a World War II. I'll take an Uzi. Why do I fuck around with that thing? I'll take an Uzi. <laughs> I wonder, okay. if, you I wonder if you ever made a full auto. So you don't, you do not like, you don't like the, no, uh, the sub two thousand at you, all. You, okay, not for said, contracting, you, not right, for contracting. Right, for people's lives on this line. Right. No. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. Baby face, you have something to say? I actually like. I like the government contract. No thanks. Uh, yeah. When when I got all the money in the world, hell yeah, I'm gonna spend it on the top tier that I can get. <laughs> it's um, definitely not a Celtic. <laughs> we need to, we need to revisit. I need to, you know, I got mine to fixed by Celtic and they did fix it but um we need i need to shoot it some more i really yeah. haven't did shot you ever it test it i'm trying to remember yeah i shot it a little bit but i need to i need i've got this handguard kit you gave me oh cool. years whenever and i gotta put that thing on it it's just a yeah. major job so yeah by I'm the sorry. way here's the here's the new version i'm realizing you know back a couple years ago i never understood how you could fall into the trap of like having projects sitting for years <laughs> I'm now I'm now falling into that where I'm like, you're in a project and I'm like shit I haven't touched that in like eight months. <laughs> well, yeah, let, me explain, let me explain how it works. Okay, you start a project, right, going along, you're interested, all of a sudden something else pops up. Oh look at that! Oh well, I need that. That's cool. Let's start that one. Go yes, along, along. yes, that's what goes aside. And then all of a sudden a new military vehicle comes in really cheap. Oh shit, got to get that. Boom. Yeah, that's the that's Patrick. We have videos that we did I think a year ago that we and have not never published. put out. <laughs> yeah, so sure. it happens. It happens. There's videos out there. They by the way, there's the uh, Gen Two Sub so Two Thousand for. Oh, if you, if, I don't know if anyone out there is like uh, into the Celtic stuff. I think these are cool. These use Glock magazines and all that. Yes. Um, I wish Keltec, you know, Keltec made a like super ass long KSG for no reason. <laughs> no, I, 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 I wish that they would make like a smaller version of the of the sub two thousand. I hate that to say this, but I'm drawn to that super ass long version for some reason. What? <laughs> what? what? Oh. Just because <laughs> I can put dementia has finally caught up with just you. Just because <laughs> I can put so many damn rounds in it and just go boom, 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 boom. boom okay. Boom, Do you boom, know boom, how boom, that's going to be heavier than one of your fifties? You know that. Uh, uh, what 50s? I don't have 50s anymore because yeah. the government. By the way, do you know, um, Walter, um, the uh, How It's Made video that we did on the 50s is over yeah. 100,000 views? Excellent. Now we got to um, do is just put a, Go ahead. All we got to do is tie a machine gun to it and we'll go, it'll go viral. Well, here's the, so here's the problem. Here's the problem. YouTube has decided that that video is inappropriate. Is yes. Oh, geez. So we'll see how that goes. I'm, must... I'm contesting that right now. Holy cow, I found the handguard I was looking for. All right, what is what are you looking for? The oh, it's is that the one handguard carbine I gave you? handguard? Oh, okay. I was looking all over the freaking place for this, and I just found it. Yeah, okay. You know why I was looking though? 
Why? I was digging out my Caltech. Mm -hmm. You're gonna oh, you're gonna put that on the Caltech. Okay. So let's see. Uh, boom! You're pulling out the Caltech. Is that a Gen two that you have or a Gen one? Oh, one. Number one. One. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's see. All right. So let's go. I'm gonna um, go to people's questions here in a second. I just want to make sure that I hit um, another new gun. And if you guys know, if you guys have seen a new gun that's coming out for Shot Show that we haven't talk about, talked about, let us know, and then we will talk about it here. Guys, I just okay. posted a new gun that's coming out. Walter, you're going to like this conversation. One thing, I'm not going to look at any gold-encrusted meteorite made from 1911s. Look, right. I got your gold-encrusted right here. I got your gold encrusted right here. Shine that. By the way, this is a this is a golden. This is a Gen One sub two thousand. I don't think I've ever seen one of those. In you won't. I'm the only one that has one. Who painted that for you? Caltech. They actually really? did that at the factory. The yes. Burnt bronze. Yes. I like that, Sarah. <laughs> you must. You must. Have, you must have still been on the end then. Yeah, that's oh, when. Yeah. They, that's when they liked me. That's uh, when they liked me. No, <laughs> forget about it. <laughs> Forget about it. Uh, uh, Archangel wants to know what you guys think uh, between uh, a PSA, a PSA, Palm Metal State Armory AR versus a higher end AR like a, a PCM or a Colt. What are you doing with it? Just go, would you guys take a, a, a Palm Metal State Armory to war with you? Would I? What would you? What one? Would you take it to, to war? war. Oh, it's, well. I think it's an AR I, for, for the most, you can't, if you mess up making an AR, there's no. something wrong with at, you. At this point, ARs have become so ubiquitous. The parts yeah. are everywhere and they're yeah. all. Now, some people do it. Some people mess it up. It's kind of hard to though. Even, yeah. like, even like Anderson lowers, the cheapest lower you can get work perfect. Yeah. Um, I don't find that PSA messes them up. What do you think, Walter? I mean, we've got, we've got a 300 blackout. All yeah. kinds of stuff. I don't think they mess um, on on that aspect. I haven't tested any of the new AK stuff that they have coming out, but on um, the AR aspect, I haven't seen anything. I know Force got a test on one of their guns. The AKs okay. are are not. I wouldn't trust one of their AKs yet. Um, they're still using what cast parts. Uh, it, well, in, in 904 cast thing, it says it says it's not. His so. is not a cast trunnion. As if it's a yeah. middle trunnion, then it'd be all right. I would prefer. Uh, what should we call it? The, like what the Russians use? The it's forging. Forging, yeah. I'd prefer yeah, a forging, but those yes, are machine from a forging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. This looks pretty badass. This is like there a movie go. gun, you know, fifty round mag on a. <laughs> you need to make that thing full auto, Walter. That probably wouldn't be that hard, actually. Yeah, I have to tear it apart. Make another, it full auto. Another project, Patrick. Um. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, hold on one second. Micro Johnson unit. <laughs> so shout me out. Johnson. This is like an oxymoron here. Micro Johnson unit. <laughs> uh, I, I don't know. I'm confused now. Is he friends but with Big Dick Willie? Or? I don't know. But shout out to him nevertheless. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, okay, so did you guys look at what I put up there? Did you look at the uh, – I put up a link of this. Let's talk about it. It's uh, Recall Magazine has this. Daniel Defense Delta 5 Bolt Action Leak by SHOT Show App. Did you see oh, that? Oh, hang on. I think so, I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Bolt Action? Yeah, so it looks like Daniel Defense has a bolt action coming out, uh, probably in 6.5 Creedmoor and 308. Are they like – Are they like – yeah, has have they like fallen went through the the time hole thing the 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 space time continuum and the stargate <laughs> and that fell on their head why would you go build there you know there, there's more than one person making a bolt action right now daniel defense yeah i mean yes of course you know there's remington of course doing it for a long time <laughs> Uh, you have everyone's doing it right now, right? Ruger's doing it. Uh, uh, everybody's, yeah. everyone's doing a, a bolt action, so they're jumping into the bolt action thing. Razor JB says it came out a few weeks ago. I just, I just realized it was happening. What do you guys think? I, 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 run for us. Depends run. on the price. Depends on the price. All depends. Yeah. On. Oh, let me give me a little hint. The big expensive. Uh, I'm, it's going to be more expensive than a Savage. <laughs> um, savage is good. If I could get it, yeah. I, I compare it to like a 700 because that's kind of industry standard. I'd like to mm -hmm. see how it costs compared to 700. Yeah, we have a we have a Savage uh, 65 Creedmoor. We're going to be testing. That thing's really nice. I'm really so, surprised for the price. So with that, what you just said, you didn't make it out to Aries, then, did you? No, no, because um, I had to uh, finish that video that I put up. I had to finish that video, get it up. So we didn't get out there. 
I'm gonna probably. I don't know if I'm gonna get out there before shot show. Now it's probably gonna be after. Okay. Um, Brian Quick says Daniel defense is run by retards. <laughs> Isn't it? <laughs> went, like, well, it that's kind of what I was leaning. Why would? You... Okay. Yeah. Why? Screaming Skull Saloon says DD makes great stuff, but I cannot give them my money. Well, um, that'd be like Daniel remember. Defense. That'd be like Daniel Defense coming out with a pump shotgun. Why? <laughs> it could happen. They're running. Why? Maybe they're running out of ideas. Can anybody? I, you guys remind me what they did to scorn us because I don't fully remember. Um, remember his? Um, he oh, he was the one that sent out that that tweet or something. He was supporting gun control. Yeah, he capitulated. Yep, that's right. That's yeah. that's right. He did. He did walk it back, but well, of he course did. he did after he realized how fucking but he did stupid make, it was. Yeah, he did make a mistake. Yeah. Um, I, okay, I'm going to tell you something that I think about Daniel Defense. If you guys scroll down on that recall thing, you're going to see a video from them. I think Daniel Defense is going after the government contracts, like a lot of people um, out there. That could be a good reason why they did a bolt gun like that. I can't see any civilian. Is is the um, 700 coming up to be replaced or something? Because I, I thought it was working great. Yeah. Yeah, but if the government is going to replace it, do they need to well, replace it with a Daniel Defense when there's, there's lots of other good bolt guns out there? There's, I, I, aren't they talking about replacing some of their long range stuff with six five instead of uh, three hundred eight, getting rid of three hundred eight and moving to six five? I thought the a, army got six five last year. That maybe. could be the mood of the of the week. You know? yeah. yeah, check um, that out. That's cool. Just, Go ahead, show us that again. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Ordinances, ordinances. 19, six, 1942 dated a uh, 60 millimeter mortar. Inert, 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 because, you know, I, I do like my Can life. Can you do a hammer test? I, um, sure. I just did a hammer test, hammer time. <laughs> uh, Racer JB is reminding us, well, Mossberg did just come out with a pistol, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> yeah, but that pistol is only 300 something bucks. That, yeah. That Daniel Defense rifle is probably pushing two thousand dollars. So yeah, I don't know. Here's the thing. I, I mean, you guys know I never had a Daniel Defense before, and then I bought a very expensive one. Cost me a lot of money. Oh, and God, another gun. You yeah, wanted, I basically you had to sell a gun that I had that I really liked. You busted after that gun for so <laughs> freaking long. Uh, yeah, I regret oh. selling the gun that I had that I liked to get it. Oh, well, because yeah. um, I actually enjoy the, the the 300 blackout integral that I built with Liberty mm -hmm. way more than the than the Daniel Defense. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, why would you why would someone do that when with a bolt gun? There's lots of affordable bolt guns out there that you can get. You can get chassis oh, and yeah, stuff yeah. for them and make not, them better. Like I don't understand not for the average person. I, I don't. It's probably not. The, the idea wasn't for the average Joe. They must have some contracts in mind or something yeah uh, archangel says uh military sniper units are going for an hk with a lighter chassis so maybe daniel's trying to court some of that i don't know yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't we'll, know. we'll see we'll see uh maybe i don't know if it'll be at shot show i'm assuming it will be yeah, i don't know if i'll be able be. to shoot it at media day or Isn't something there like a that. picture of uh like some advertising i just saw what yeah was if you scroll down to like the bottom of the, that link like a kid in it or something was there there's no pistol grip on that either it's got a regular stock like rifle stock like yeah. california compliance stock yeah and here's what i want to know walter is the upper serialized yes or no well that, the up, upper God on that is Christ. the receiver it has to be yeah yeah <laughs> uh, i'm just kidding i'm just messing with you <laughs> yeah yeah you know, hey, I had, I, the other day we had i didn't tell you guys i i had a um a customer uh, well an englishman that's somebody from Britain, for those of you from yeah, the Lola, Lola Linda, as Russ Other, Lindbaugh says. Otherwise known uh, as the UK. <laughs> yes, yes, United Kingdom, yes. Yeah. London, England. Stopped by the shop to see our stuff. So I you know, started rapping with him. He's a, he has a gun shop over there or sells sporting goods type stuff. Plus, he's in the contracting business, I think, or something, too. Um, and, um, God, I completely lost my train of thought. <laughs> You were telling us this Englishman stopped by. Yeah, 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 I know that. Yeah, I'm just trying to think what, what my the meaning of my whole story was here. Um, uh, we were talking about the serialization of things. Oh, yeah. So he goes, he's looking at the fifth. He's very interested in the 50 caliber uppers about importing them over there to England. And um, I said, well, you need to check it all out because I'm not sure the exact details of all that. Mm -hmm. And he goes, well, why would they want to put an, Why would yeah. they want to put a serial number on the upper? The yeah. lower already has one. And yeah. It's like. Duh! You did yeah. hear it from this guy, right? Yeah. The, the, the guy from England. That's too logical. I kind of did that. Though. I was like, "You see, Peggy, <laughs> it's not just us." And uh, 
Yeah, yeah. So, um, plus he's uh, he's got contacts in military vehicle stuff too. So, should okay, we? good. You should see if you can get a defender from him. Uh, that's what I was gonna. That's it. Also, the conversation went that way too. But yes, okay, good thinking. Good thinking. Um, <laughs> yeah, because because that's a that's a high profit thing over here. By the way. So. Yeah, we need a defender. I need a couple. I need a contain. I need about five containers full of con defenders. Yeah. So, uh, are we gonna are we gonna talk about that uh, weird ass revolver that's coming out? Oh, that oh, one I want to yes. get my that's hands on. That's another one yeah. that we need to talk about. Okay. Yeah. Let's pull <laughs> it up. I'm drawn to that baby face. Well, I don't know what it is. I just so like that. So weird. Thing. I know that's why I like. It. I want it. So, I hope it fires both cylinders at once because that would be awesome. I doubt no, it. So yeah, it, fi it fires too. At, 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 oh at, yes, and the, there um, was an article about that on the firing blog, I think, or one of those places that said yeah. that could be con considered a machine gun. No, that's bullshit. Yeah, no, yeah that's, that's crap. Double, it's like a double barrel shotgun. So here, I'll, I'll throw gun? I'll throw it up here for you guys to take a look at it, and everyone can take a look if you want to know what we're talking about here. Oh, um, this is something that just came out from Standard Manufacturing. Um, the S three 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 volley fire double barrel revolver. Give me a um, shoot. What caliber? Uh, it's going to be twenty two magnum. magnum. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This I'm gun gonna, has two barrels side by side with orientation and can simultaneously fire two um, right. 22 let me, MR. Let me, let me get a WMR. clarification on that. That's two barrels. Barrels. <laughs> two barrels. Two barrels. All right. So this is this is um if you remember standard manufacturing had the what was it pepper box or something volley like that? fire pepper box yeah yeah so this is the evolution of it they haven't put that out yet they are they are planning on doing this I think this is way better what happened twenty two magnum box? oh yeah did a pepper yeah. box ever come out mm -hmm. no and that was gonna be like twenty five something some kind of weird okay. caliber mm -hmm. twenty five auto yeah so I think this is a better idea these are gonna be like three hundred bucks it looks very oh. rough. At yeah. the moment. <laughs> I'm interested just for the weirdness of it. Yeah, yeah. I, would, I would own it just because it's, it's it's weird. It's bizarre, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I know. Uh, Me too. On tube says it's fugly. Well, <laughs> sometimes no. you got it. Sometimes you got to bang an ugly chick. Sometimes you got to bang an oh, ugly yeah. gun. Might have. Anyways, I'm not gonna say anything. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> gonna keep it clean. I would rather. I would rather an uh, ugly chick than uh, than uh, one of those really. <laughs> Attractive, uh, you know, uh, what, what, do you, what do you call them? Uh, what do you call them? Uh, what, what do you call them, baby face? The traps. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, real women, don't you know? So, I, I think it's look, nothing is for everyone, but I think that it That's does right. have it can fit a purpose. You can do things. 22 Magnum comes in shot. You can get it and shot and some, you know. Twenty-two you magnum is an barrel. awesome cartridge. Two way. barrels of rat shot coming out of that. That'd be pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, if they make it affordable, I would buy one just because it's weird. Just because it's cool looking. Yeah. yeah. Just because it's it's a. I think all of us would agree that we're tired of the same old, same old in the gun industry. Yeah, okay, Glock, hello. Yeah, hello. just give me something a little different, and I'm typically pretty happy. I don't care I mean, what. I bought, I bought the the what's a little NCAA bug out or whatever, that little tiny 22 that fits like in the palm of your hand. Yeah, but the, hold on a second. Hold on a second. That is a useful gun. That's awesome. It's, that's I a, think that's awesome. a good gun. Yeah. Yeah. Gun. Yeah. I got to go take that thing. It's been in the safe for like six months. I got to go get it. Oh, I'll look at but this angle. I think that I think oh, that oh, this oh. this would be a good thing um, just based on the fact of Hold on, if, Walter, if you see Walter's this come out and it's over a, there. Yeah. If you see this come out and it's affordable, let's see what Walter's up to. He's, you see I'm it come out and it's affordable. Get it. 22 yeah. Magnum. You can use this. There's situations. Hopefully uh, it's not flawed like the uh, what's that little box gun that shot 22. Oh, the one, <laughs> the the one zip, that failed. The zip? Zip, you talking about the no, zip? not the zip gun. It was, no, it was the one that uh, folds up. Oh, oh, the Stinger? Was that what it was called? Oh, oh, oh the one that's out now. It looks like, a, like yeah. a cell phone. Yeah, it looks like a little box that folds up and you fold it out and it's got the, it's a 22 single shot. Or, sing, yeah, 22 LR single shot. I can't think of the name. But from, that thing failed pretty hard. Yeah, from, um, from what I've seen for, of the prototypes of this, because I've seen the, I haven't seen the specific prototype to this. I've seen the other ones at Standard Manufacturing. I have been to Connecticut and visited with those guys. Lifeguard, thank you, Arm and Access, the lifeguard. Yeah. Lifeguard. Uh, yeah the, the other one they had out was kind of boxy and ugly looking. Yeah, but these are simple guns, so I don't think there's a whole bunch of stuff to go wrong here. But the barrel still, or the, the cylinder still rotates, which is even crazier because yeah. it's two cylinders. It must be it must be machined in like a hexagonal shape on the inside. 
like two, 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 and two, or maybe square. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, and they I, can I mean, do that. They've got some complicated manufacturing uh, equipment over there. I thought you they had standard manufacturing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, okay, okay, Patrick. Um, DCG44 says it comes from standard manufacturing. They don't do cheap, um, but this is going to be like a $300 gun. I spoke yep. to I spoke to Lou from standard manufacturing over the weekend. Um, standard manufacturing was supposed – do you guys remember the SKO? No. Remember the SKO and the SKO shorty? You can look you that up. An, you get an STD from the SKO? Yeah. Babyface, you have an STD. That comes from standard I manufacturing. I do have an STD. It's downstairs. Yeah. What's well, the okay. So the SKO is a shotgun. Oh, I've seen this. It's like this weird ass semi auto. Oh, it looks like a street sweeper, but it's weird. It's ugly. Yeah. It's not pretty. Yeah. So, um, but the SKO shorty is very cool. They were supposed to have sent this to us over a year ago. Oh, that's what you're waiting on? Yeah. They actually have, they actually have the Hex Strange logo stamped on those things, and they've been sitting over there for a year. For so long, they sent it to one of their customers that bought something. It was a, a product yeah. that he bought. <laughs> yeah. And the guy goes, why the hell is there a Hex Strange stamped <laughs> on my gun? <laughs> and sends it back to them, and they still haven't sent it to me. Uh, but uh, Walter was telling me that he's interested in this, so I, I got in touch with them. And I spoke to them over the weekend. So they, they say that when they actually, when this actually comes out, they'll send us one. So we'll yes. get that probably in 2030. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm actually, I'll, if, if Standard is listening, I'm interested. It looks pretty cool. I am too. I actually. Like I wanna, I'll check yeah. it out a shot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really glad they went 22 Magnum. Perfect. Yes, over 22 LR. Yeah. We'll have to do a video if we go to a yeah, yeah. For sure. over there. Yeah, and Walter, I'll take you over to Standard Manufacturing at the show. And then they'll tell us to leave. Is yeah. that all we need to do? <laughs> no. Who yeah. are you? Hey, no, you need to yeah. go. You'll be my de Walter. A, you'll be my designated white guy. I'll take you over there. They have Hank's picture on a on a poster. It's like, do not do not speak to this man. <laughs> do not serve this man. <laughs> like you see in places that people wrote people bad checks. Mm -hmm. Like don't take <laughs> this one, that one, this one, that one. Yeah. Yeah, the juice says, could you imagine buying a rifle and getting Hank's face engraved on <laughs> No! <laughs> <laughs> it's not my face. It was the logo. Well, it's guess what? When I get my laser, that's the first thing we're going to do. <laughs> not, to shit, not to shit on your popularity, Hank, but you're not the biggest YouTuber. So it's not like they would have gotten like Hickok 45 and been like, oh, this is really cool. It's like. Yeah, they didn't know who the hell I was. No. They were like, why the hell is this guy's name Who's, on yeah, this gun? This? What does this mean? <laughs> Yes, no, they were happy and they did not know. Do you think if it was someone who actually knew, and I know I'm not that popular, oh, they would have called you or texted yeah. you. Or, yeah, no, they wouldn't have even they wouldn't have even got in touch with those guys. Yeah. They would just say, "Okay, fine." Yeah, I am so happy. So that your handguard works. Well, let's take a look for, at for, it. For M1 carbine people, actually, this is a CMP rifle I got from from the civilian marksmanship program. But the handguard that was on it had an earlier style two rivet. The the handguards either have two rivets that hold the little piece of metal on that, that actually holds the handguard on, and they figured that didn't work, so they went to the four rivet ones, which are later style ones. The one, other one, I have another one at the shop that was two rivet, and as soon as I went to put it on this, it broke. And I was oh, like, God. I'd taken it off, and it was fine, and I tried to put it back on, it broke. The rivets popped out, and I was just like, you know, how they're like, oh, fuck. Oh, oh, you got so, one that I did? You did see you over-torque it or something? No. You want to see some custom breakage? So notice oh, all yeah. that filing oh, yeah. on the safety. Uh, I went to make some welding adjustments to the safety I ordered from Russia. I burnt a hole straight through it with the welder. <laughs> ah, <laughs> burnt a hole right through it with the MIG so, welder. With the yeah, with the MIG welder. So I ended up, I ended up uh, getting. It, it was just uh, the little finger notch is just tack welded on. Or uh, um, what's it? The two part welding where you, you pinch it. Um, Spot welding. And, yeah, spot, spot welded. Yeah. It's spot welded. So I, I just kind of ground it, took it off, and then spot welded it to my original Russian, and it works fine. But last night I was like, "Did I seriously just fucking do that? I see. I just broke this thing that like I no, waited. You go, you go to Savage, Patrick. How, how much did they get you for for that? It was twenty five bucks. It wasn't. Oh, that's not. That's no, not I, I didn't feel. Too, if it was but, like, if it was like one of the other ones, I would have been. Mad. All that is is it is extra piece of sheet metal welded I, to the outside Walter, of a regular Walter ideas. Ideas. It is literally a piece of sheet metal. Oh, you know what, my friend? It's I could go to the place here locally and have those things made, and we could make those things like you. And I got a spot welder too, by the way. So. I have one too. Luckily, I had one to fix mine. But yeah, yeah. I, you know, 
we already have one thing in the works. This might be number two if we can get. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm game for easy stuff. So yeah. So the thing there is the competition is too expensive. Buying one of the ones from uh, from Krebs, they're like fifty bucks a piece. It's really pricey. Yeah. yeah. So um, the, you know what the thing is, Walter? I need a yes, sir. Patrick gets in a mood sometimes. He doesn't do this all the time. Yeah. But I don't he, you know. About. He gets in a mood. And then he just goes savage on I don't things. know what and he doesn't slow not. down and think well, like, oh, let me let me just take my time and do this thing. He just well, goes all welding, savage. Welding is not something to Ugh. um that's like you get that expensive part and you're gonna see how it works when you first time you're welding. It's like not a good equation. Oh right. <laughs> and uh, and and because you had the temperature up too high, that's why it did it burned right there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was savage, at it myself. Savage mode. Turn it some, on, dial yeah, it that's, what, that's where you get some just scrap sheet metal and practice welding sheet metal. You know, Meditate like, first, Patrick. <laughs> say a couple prayers. Yeah. I want you no. Know, I so uh, I've been toying with TIG instead of MIG. People seem to to like starting out on TIG instead. I might yep. see if I can get one. I don't. Do you have any opinions on TIG versus MIG? You just you can get a Harbor Freight one. They're pretty inexpensive. Oh yeah, that's true. They and then your uh, stick. So it's still more. The TIG is still more from Harbor Freight, but it is better from you know. It's a yeah, better well, skill for you to have too. That's all we use in the shop. So you guys use TIGs? Yeah, TIG. Everything's TIG. Yeah, well. yeah. yeah has, I I need to get a TIG. Yeah, it has to be. So. Yeah. So okay, we're gonna switch to politics here in a second. Let me handle a couple of things that I'm seeing going through here. Uh, Richard Hughes says I was there. He said exactly that. I wanted Hickok 45, not Hank Strange. <laughs> <laughs> um, and James Miller says, I'd rather have Hank's face on a gun than Hickok. Um, I don't know. Uh, I understand. I know Hickok is falling out of favor with some people. but uh, you know. Maybe you should stop supporting the NRA mindlessly. Yeah. Well, what is he doing? Is he fighting? No, he uh, supports the NRA without any uh, uh, That's yeah. fighting. I guess he is yeah. fighting. Yeah, he's, he's fighting. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've told you guys before, and... Uh, I think uh, you guys, if you if you've watched this, you've heard me heard me say it before. There's lots of big YouTubers out there that fully support the NRA and everything that they're doing. Well, that's and a great. They're not that's they're a, not what you guys, you know, they're not the new school gun guy or the. That's true, part of the gravy true. train. That's part of the gravy train. That's yeah. part of the gravy train. So there's lots of there's lots of folks out there like that, and you know, it is I, what it is. I hate. Yeah, I. I uh, well, yeah, I don't know. I just hate this. This time is. It's just weird. Uh, I've seen a lot of weird times in the gun stuff, but this is a really weird time. Yeah. So I don't think everyone sees that sees these things the way that we do. Like, there's people out there that think, "Oh no, this is just a small infringement, and it's not going to lead to anything else." Well, we've been suffering from from lots of micro infringements, and of uh, course, it's going to lead. Is that the new? Is that the new <laughs> slang? Micro infringements. It's like you, uh, it is now, and it will be. Speaking, <laughs> speaking of being infringed, did you see the video of the woman over in in the Netherlands wearing a yellow vest? She's pushing a baby in a stroller. And the police arrest her because she's wearing one of the yellow vests supporting, the, supporting the French. So you can't wear a yellow vest now? Oh well, that's a, sign, that's a sign of the resistance. And what, you can't resist? Oh, wait a second. Maybe this is why you need a Second Amendment. So <laughs> she's, she's, I mean, this is a young girl. She's maybe in her 20s pushing a baby with a cart. And, and they, they arrest, arrest her. the mom with. Yeah. The, did they arrest the baby? Uh, <laughs> They probably fed the baby to some hungry mutton. Never mind. Um, <laughs> oh man. Okay. Um. I carry my revolver in single action. Ask me if I saw surviving R. Kelly. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what that is. Oh, I know. Uh, I do know what it is. Surviving R. Kelly. It's a documentary that's out. About See, for that. a long time. For a long time. More than twenty years. People have been saying that R. Kelly is a sexual predator. A and and, it, and he, that's a hundred percent true. For like. Be his sex lives. Yeah, we I talked about know. this a year ago. Remember? Yeah, yeah. So there, there. Um, well, I don't know. It wasn't Discovery. It was Lifetime or something like that. Oh God. Um, has a series out on this where they actually interviewed these women. I have not watched it. I think um, R. Kelly. I used to be a fan of R. Kelly. I liked his music and all that kind of stuff. But he, he's a disgusting, horrible person. I don't believe in slavery. I do not believe in it. And um, I won't support anyone that wants to enslave human beings. That's bullshit. We don't need those kinds of people on the planet with us. So that's the way I feel. That's the way I feel about people like R. Kelly and anyone else 
that uses their fame or whatever else it is to impose their will on other human beings out there. So, uh, but I, I don't know if you got, I mean, you know. Not so is he a Democrat him. contributor? R. Kelly? <laughs> no, you know, I think R. Kelly is suffering from one of those things that happens like in the black community. that He's, he's protected regardless what he does? Yeah, because you're, you know, it's like with um, Bill Cosby. Okay, Bill Cosby did some horrible shit. Yeah, but you know, you, you can't, know what? You, know, you, can't you, know what? you can't go, oh, it's Bill Cosby. We got to let him go. No, he did some horrible things. But you know what started with Bill Cosby, they say, is the fact that he started talking bad about the Democratic Party and they went after him. Okay, that that could be true. But uh, he's the person who did the horrible things. Well, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. Don't do things to people that you don't want someone to do to your mom or your sister, or your daughter. The, yeah. You know, don't do that. Your dog. Yeah, <laughs> you know, those, those are the kind of things you don't want to do to any person. No, you no. know, so I think that when you have people like Bill Cosby, R. Kelly, there's other people out there. I think what happens is, is like uh, within the black community, these guys are protected because they're like, oh, this is the government coming down on these people. Yeah. Racist. Yeah. You know, R. Like Kelly, like 20 years ago, married uh, the uh, singer Aaliyah that later died when she was like 15 years old. Yeah, yeah. I remember I remember like reading about yeah. that. And then we all saw the video of him peeing on a, yes. on, on a young girl. So he should have been arrested and locked up and buried under the prison back then. But instead, the authorities, people, out, he got off of those charges because they paid the girl's uh, family off. That is disgusting. For you to take money to let someone do something like that to your kid and get away with it, that's pretty horrible. So people allow this kind of crap. You know, so uh, yeah. anyway, to answer that question, no, I didn't <laughs> see that documentary. I'm aware of it. He's a horrible person. You know, maybe the shit will finally catch up to him. But, you know, look, people let Michael Jackson get away with shit for a long time. Uh, yeah, he was a weirdo. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> it's just this weird thing that happens. It happens with politicians, too. We're letting politicians uh, get away with shit. We're letting There's politicians get away with shit. The moment. The slush fund to pay off the, uh, the uh, you know, the sexual harassment and different um, stuff. Uh, lawsuits and brought against these senators and congressmen that, that they won't they've sealed that information so. yeah here's what i think about like I, I don't believe in dogma right so no matter how much i like a politician or whatever if if you do if you do stuff that's unacceptable you know and i don't believe in a whole bunch of laws and being in people's business and all that kind of thing but there's certain things that we all know universally are unacceptable right most of us know that well yeah, yeah. <laughs> Um, um, so when you do those things, we should not support you. Slicing up babies and selling their parts? That's pretty inexcusable, isn't it? Hells yeah. Absolutely. That's what the, uh, that's what the Nazis did, by the way. Um, are they accusing these people of being Nazis like they call Trump? No. no um, I think – and I have to remind all these people to call Trump a Nazi. If he was a real Nazi, you'd be dead already. Yeah. yeah. But so. if you look at this, if you look at this, look, I come down on everyone, including Trump. That's what I believe in. Whatever you do, you know, I come down on myself. We come down and we, we make fun of each other for stuff. Ultimately, you have to be able to, to, you know, call people to the mat with things that they do, you know. And then there's some things that really cross the line, which I agree with you, Walter. There's some things over here that are messed up. That, but if it's between two adults, none of my business. When you when you do these really horrible things to children, when, that's when we've co totally crossed the line. Yeah, well, you'd think so, right? Yeah. What you do, what Trump does with a porn star, I don't give a crap hey, about. And what he does when he pays her off, that's his business. Not my problem. I don't. That the, he yeah. wasn't the president then either, by the way. Yeah. So it, it, well, I don't care if he is the president. I think. I mean, well, come yeah. on now. Yeah. You know, if you're a porn star, this is what you do. If you're a professional thought, as she's a say. prostitute, <laughs> and that's a prostitute they get paid. Yeah, you know, that's and, just and, and that's that. that. That's the way it is. And yeah, it's not, it's not like she gave it up. She's doing all that shit still. So yeah, tough. But life. you know, there's other people who've done some really, really, really horrible things, and you no know, one, you know, everyone just wants to let yeah. it go. I mean, I see that. Uh, what's the name of this um, actor that uh, he was in court today? So oh, that uh, what's this? Um, the uh, guy from House of Cards, and yeah, he yeah. the, the, the House of Cards fell me? down on his ass, didn't it? Yeah. Um, hold on. Um, this is one of our best. This is one of the best American actors. Um, Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey. Yeah, Kevin yeah. Spacey. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have a lot of respect for his acting. Um, <laughs> oh, I, yeah. 
<laughs> but think about this. You know, this video, I don't know if you guys saw this, but he put out a video where he was acting like the character he plays in House of Cards. Yes. Uh, like you right know, you know what that's about, that. right? You know what that's about, right? No. I don't know. He's saying that he knows stuff. Well, then, if it, and if he gets pursued in court, he's going to drop that stuff. I got to help you. I want to see you. It ain't going away. Yeah. Some and here's what I say. Burn, I'm one of them. Hit us with it. Let's find out. Yeah, let it go, go man. Yep. Drop it. Yep. Yeah. Drop it. Yeah. That's what I say to that. But I think that's what he was hinting there. Like, hey. There is so yeah, much. You guys really want the, Yeah. There is so much debauchery going on in, in Hollywood. And oh, not the man. not the not the normal guy girl stuff. I'm talking about with kids and everything else. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we gotta stop all this crap. We gotta stop all of this kind of stuff has to stop. Where, you know, this is one of the problems that we have. And uh people taking advantage of children is not acceptable to me. Well stuff that you do, you wanna do all that craziness and you're a grown ass man or woman. What else? Yeah. You know, but the things that people are doing to children is pretty disgusting. And well, we're and, and we're and in our society we're letting it go. Well, because there's this thing there's this there's this uh what do you call it? The old uh, oh Kevin Spacey, he does such good work. Yeah, I don't he's, care how good what he did was, <laughs> you know. He's still yeah. a fucking Yeah. It's not yeah. acceptable. It's not acceptable to a do rope would fix that. We'll fix that with a rope real quick. Boom. Yeah. So out of the, out of the uh, I, I will not disagree with that. Okay, let's get into some of the gun politics here because I know we have a whole bunch of people that want to talk about the gun politics. Let us know right now what you want to talk about. Um, I'm going to start with with Rubio. Oh, <laughs> Holy. God. What's Holy. he doing? Oh, yeah, he I'll, I'll throw this up for you. No, I haven't read it. He, he's introduced uh, with some Democrats another one of these red flag law things, for federal oh, red flag thing. Nice. You didn't hear about that? Mm-mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Federal, he's, federal red flag law? Federal. Yeah, red flag stuff. You know something? I have never liked Marco Rubio. Yeah, ever. <clears throat> ever. This is a horrible, horrible well, let person. Me, let me not, I, not, uh, not a conservative, not someone who believes in I lost all respect for him when he got in that thing called the Gang of Eight with um, what's-his-face is dead now. All these old these old senators, Congress types, when they were trying to get a like, bipartisan thing, it was the Gang of Eight. Yeah, no, uh, yeah. Uh, McCain, was McCain, was McCain, was McCain, yeah, 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 and mm -hmm. and that's all part of that. Well, if I don't play the game with the old guys, if I don't let the old guys do me, then I don't <laughs> go nowhere. And that's and that's you laugh, but that's, that's what yeah. it is. You mm -hmm. got to you got to gobble the goo for the old guys, and. Uh, Oh my God, um, that's just disgusting. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw this out there. This is this is uh, take it take it with a grain of salt or whatever. But uh, we, our family, know somebody very like really high up in Tampa politics on the Republican side, yeah. um, and he will not take phone calls from Marco Rubio. Like yeah. he's Wait, called him before trying to get support and trying to get him to do stuff, and he's like, "Piss off! I don't want to deal with yeah. it." Yeah. Wait, aren't like, you Cuban? Aren't you also Cuban, babyface? I am. Yeah. 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 And, that, so, and, then, and here's a guy who, who you know, plays the family story about working so hard and coming from Cuba and doing all that. Well, why the fuck did they leave Cuba? Because the fucking communist that was there, right? Yeah. It took all the guns. That's why, that's why our family left. Right, right. So it's like, now you're going to play this game with the same people that want to be buddies with the commies and the socialists and everything else? What are you, stupid? Listen, yeah. Marco Rubio just wants to be president, no matter what it he takes. He ain't gonna ever be president, ever. He's, he, you know, he, he's it's willing like, to he, do whatever it takes. He's got the manly level of this. Yeah, yeah, he's a pushover. <laughs> so, yeah. um, if you want to know specifically what we're talking about here, uh, <laughs> Senator Marco Rubio pushes federal red flag bill on firearms. Republican U.S. Senator Marco Rubio reintroducing a bill that seeks to encourage states to pass red flag laws that would make it easier for courts to disarm dangerous people, quote unquote. The measure has garnered bipartisan support in the wake of February 14th uh, Parkland massacre that left 17 people dead. So the, 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 the whole thing about um, the whole thing about this is that I think uh, someone was telling me over the weekend that what have they seized like 400 guns from 400 people in Florida already? Right now, I just uh, Googled it. It says 450 people in Florida ordered to give up their guns under red flag laws. Yeah. So my problem with this, there's, you know, who defends you? There's no accountability either. Yeah. How do you defend yourself against this? Where do you get a yeah. lawyer from? How do you deal with that? If these if these are false accusations, how do you get stuff back once the government takes something from you? Is 
state required to like the government's required to give you a lawyer to defend okay. yourself now, in, now, in here, here, okay you want a public okay. defender to defend oh, no, no, yourself no, 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 I'm not saying that but i mean on on on, on gun rights stuff no, God, yeah. none, I won't want a public defender on anything ever. No, that public defender is going to be some young kid that just came yeah. out of law school and is totally liberalized because yeah. he came out of law yeah. school. And he's going to be like, oh. e an easy day. Yeah, he's <laughs> going to sell you down the river. You're going to go in front. He's going to say, 100%. Right, I, got 100%. I got you. You're going to go up in front of the judge. He's like, he's guilty. Take his guns. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, come on. I think yeah. that I think that we need to think about this. We need to think about this. You are not guilty until you have actually committed the crime until and then they prove that you committed the crime. Right. In innocent until proven guilty is, is what we follow. Yeah. You're not guilty until you are proven so in a court of law. Um. I'll, uh, Armin Axis has replaced Rubio with me. I'll do it. Yeah, you want to. I gotta go live in Miami, so never mind. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> no, you don't. Fuck Miami. No, you you don't have to. I, if I want to run for his district, don't I? Oh, true. No, he's a state sen. He's a senator no, for the whole. Oh, you're right. You're right. He's state. Federal. Yeah, yeah. Federal level. Yeah, 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 he's, uh, yeah. He's in. He's a senator. So could he's. You imagine, uh, could you imagine putting me in politics? It'd be like a Casio Cortez, but on the right. It'd be a disaster. Um, <laughs> no, did, did, you see her, did, did you see her dancing thing when she was in college? You see that little thing she did. I saw something about it. But she was listen, dancing. I would rather I would rather look at Michael Jackson looking Sandra Bullock. Than <laughs> No. And look at Ocasio Cortez dancing. What did she do to her face? Did you see? Did you? Did anyone? No, no, I haven't no. looked at. I haven't look looked at, at Bird look Box. At the, look at. Look at the uh, 2010 video when she was in Boston College dancing around. You'd 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 do her in a in a minute. I I don't think so. You would Probably. trust me. Watch the video. Okay. Was she? Would did she have more meat on her bones? Watch the video. Oh, okay. Well. All right, there you go. Um, I don't want to make that just, video any more viral than it she's is. She's still a, a, a total idiot. <laughs> yeah, like, total idiot. So, okay, Walter, you are now a supporter of uh, Casio no, Cortez. Well, only, <laughs> only if, well, anyways, we're not going to get into that. No. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag Mike, free the nips, and that, that's that's the the feminist ha feminist hashtag, isn't it? Yeah. I so, would uh, um, <laughs> I would um, refer to something I said a few shows ago about her and. But I won't say it again because I don't want to get you banned from the internet. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. Um, so we've got, you know, he's not the only one. There's lots of things that uh, people are setting up out there, including what the ATF is doing with uh, Trump support. There's there's just lots of um, these red flag laws. I think are incredibly unconstitutional. Oh, they are. Yeah, you can't yes. just accuse someone of something. They're this stealing is their personal property too, without any. Uh, yeah. What yeah. happened in New York? We've talked about this before. What happened in New York when New York was doing stop and frisk? I know a lot of people say, oh, that made the place so much better. But when you stop someone to frisk them, you're assuming that they did something wrong. You're, yeah. You're if you're, if you're, this is why the Supreme Court said, hell no, you can't do this. You can't yeah. have a person walking down the street. They didn't commit a crime. And you're like, wait a second. I'm going to stop you and take a look at what you have. <laughs> And overwhelmingly, they found that the people, guess what the people look like who were stopped yeah, and frisked? a little bit of weed. No, guess oh. What, oh, the, oh, oh. What, what racial background did most of the people have who were they stopped? They were Methodists. They were Methodists. <laughs> no. No. So I think that's the same thing with the red flag laws. You can't just go out. If you have, if someone has made threats. There are laws already in place to do all that stuff. Yes, absolutely. You know, but and, making and, it easier, making it easier for someone to go. I, this guy talked to me in stern words. Yeah, I didn't. He he scares me. He scares He's, me. Yeah, uh, Rubio is strictly going to try to be more bipartisan. That's the only thing he's doing. So we can that try to get word, when you hear bipartisan, run, run for it, oh, run. No, Rubio, but that's what he's going for. He wants. I don't to want him to be bipartisan. I want him to be a Republican. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so Gator Bait says Trump said himself, take the guns first. That I, I is bullshit. you know, I don't even say be a Republican, be a conservative. That's all. Well, I care. Right. Be right. Yeah. 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 I mean, I yeah. don't care what <laughs> what side you lean on. Yeah. Um, be a constitutional. Yeah. Um, constitutional. Kind of constitutionalist, it. I guess we'll say. That's yeah. all I care about. And, and speaking of the Constitution, when Trump, like Gator Bait said here, when Trump said take the guns first, that was bullshit. Okay, I don't care under what circumstances he said it. I don't support what he said. You cannot just take the guns first. That's not going to happen. Right. You know, um, so. Yellow vest. Yeah. Listen, do you, and, and I know this is a little bit related, but not completely. So our RBG, 
she is supposed to. Uh, she was supposed to be sitting on the court hearing arguments. She was oh, not sitting on the court. She should be. I know she she, re she recently had some like lung surgery or she something. Had, like yeah, that. cancer stuff. Yeah. Yeah. It's I don't know higher. what young person they um, they disappeared with. You know, to, so they're to gonna get this give long. her. They're gonna give her the stuff to look at. She's gonna review it and she's gonna vote, but she's not even there to vote. Yeah, it's not her. It's not her. You shouldn't be allowed to do that. That's crazy. If you can't um, sit there to hear argu oral arguments, yeah. you shouldn't be allowed to vote. So right? now they're going to sequester her somewhere where no one can see if she's actually still alive. And this is how they're going to get past Trump being able to replace her on, no. on the Supreme Court, right? What you don't do you, think do you, so? You don't do think you, they'll just sequester her off in a house someplace? She's not even really here with us. And they're like, oh, uh, you know. Like, it's, oh, it's weekend yeah. at, it's weekend at uh, Pelosi's. Come on. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, RGB says, uh, yeah, no, we're not Speaking voting. Ginsburg, they got to tire to string <laughs> to, to get her yeah. to sign stuff. Yeah. Show up or give up the seat. Um, if you can't, if you can't do it, just let it go. Let it right. go. Right. You know, um, uh, Armin and Axis just linked something from, uh, Ohio, Ohio general assembly overrides governor oh, yeah. Cossack's veto of HB 228. I don't know what's in 228, but I guess they overrided his veto and said we're doing this anyway. It's supposed to be better for uh, for gun owners. Yeah. Shifts burden so, proof back to the prosecutor so that you are innocent until proven guilty. Strengthens preemption provisions. Aligns the definition of shotgun to mere federal laws. Eliminates the requirement to post no gun signs and locations and put teeth into the law so that authorities can prosecute criminals who make straw purchases for felons. You want to hear some shit? You want to hear some, some crazy shit? <laughs> uh -huh. So we're talking about straw purchases for felons. You ready for this? Now, I, I told you that my, uh, my father almost had to use his firearm self-defense mm -hmm. yeah. a year yeah. ago. I think I told you guys yeah. that story. Yeah, yeah, about a year ago, yeah. They, that guy, he... Came, came back. Did I, well, did I tell you he actually got arrested for something else? Did I tell you guys yes. that story? Right. Yes. He's carrying like 200 pills of Oxy, 200 pills of some other stuff, uh, like 5,000 in cash. He ran the barricade at uh, McDill Air Force Base. They oh, didn't yeah. kill him on the spot somehow. Like they, should, I can't believe this. When did that happen? On the spot. Ran the barricade. Uh, they put up the, the steel barricades and yeah. ran into it, backed up and hauled ass. Um, the cops finally caught up to him and arrested him. He had a firearm on him. Again? The girlfriend. So yeah, so the girlfriend that was living with him, she he had her firearm. She hasn't gotten into any trouble. He got 18 months. Fell in with a firearm carrying like $10,000, multi-hundreds. Yeah, um, repeat and, offender. Repeat offender with a firearm, 18 months in jail. And she, yeah. and she, uh, she facilitated Nothing. that. Yes, yeah. oh, totally. Nothing. This is the problem with Florida. Like, there's it's, already insane. Yeah, well, this is what Walter just said. There's already book, uh, laws on the books for all this stuff. Yeah, prosecute people's asses for crying See, out loud. See, that's the thing is they didn't prosecute him. They they lumped all of his charges into one and then prosecuted him on like some some collective charge, which is nuts. 18 yeah. months. He should have been in 20 to 25 years for all of that crap. I think part of the problem here is the jail system is overcrowded. Uh, first of all, there's way too many, there's too many laws. Okay, we need to simplify the laws down because there's a whole bunch of shit that people should not go to jail for, but we need to simplify it. And then the really, like, you know, m people who are really bad for society like this. Repeat, 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 repeat. Don't, don't need to be here with the rest of us. Rope, the, other, the other crazy, I just can't believe the guards at McDill Air Force Base didn't just open, open up on him. Just open I'm, up on him. How did yeah. that happen? Like, <laughs> Because they would have major problems if they did that. So, yeah. And yeah. Well, the whole thing is nuts. In a car, in a car, you're not going to run through those steel barricades. No, no, yeah. no. He didn't. He probably didn't. He didn't puncture in. So, but why no. was he trying to rush the gate at McDill? He, I think he was. Was he being chased at the time? I have no idea. I, they, they don't have like a full story on it. But I mean, if you're going to chase, get in a car chase, you don't want to end up on going on a military on installation. Yes, where those guys can go in the wrong direction. direction. <laughs> they can, they can open up. They might have a saw in the car. You yes. never know, man. Yeah, so yeah, I think he I think he ran like the the just wood barricade and then they had the steel things pop up. He ran into that and then haul ass off. But I don't know how they didn't just I was like they should have just unloaded on him. So in 18 months or whatever, he'll get out and he'll be right back at it again. Yep, 100%. Probably banging the same see, chick and everything. You should see his record. It's from the time he's 18 to now, he's my age. He's not even that old. He's almost he's 30, 31. Has like 10 felony charges.
Rope. bunch of misdemeanors. Rope. 18 months in jail. Rope. Yeah. <laughs> um, because the last thing that we want is your dad to have to defend himself against this guy. God. And then no, ruin last, his no, life we want over is for this him to, piece of shit. You know, my dad we want is for him to breed. My dad is a total fraud. <laughs> me too. He thinks that he's good just carrying a pistol and not practicing at all. After that incident, he was like, I need you to go help me build an AR-15. <laughs> like, he straight up was like, you need to go. We need to go buy the parts, and I want you down this weekend to build an AR-15. I was like, yeah. oh, hell yeah. This is great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's got a nice Tampa Bay blue. Yes. Hangar. It, looked, that. it looked great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you painted it blue? No. It, no, the handguard. Oh, okay. I thought he did like yeah. a lightning themed. He got, uh, a, he got a handguard from Gun Tech, right? Gun Tech. That was it. It's awesome yeah. looking. Yeah. Let me see if I can find a picture. Yeah. <laughs> um, so Tyvin Show says uh, Trump feels safe with Americans having machine guns while he's alone Christmas Eve. That's his guards. That's why. Yeah. Uh, that's a little different. Yeah. Listen, you cannot put these two things together. If he uh, felt that way, then why don't he just get rid of the Hughes Amendment? Yes. God, Why yeah. don't he just yeah. don't yeah. take little antidotes right. to mean something. These people are actually creating laws against you. Don't get like all happy over some little antidote of something that someone says. Of course he feels happy with the Secret Service <laughs> having machine guns. <laughs> sure, yeah. I'd have no problem with those guys yeah. either. <laughs> yeah. Now I do know that the um the uh the uh the CCW thing was revisited, right? That was reintroduced. Where you could take your um, CCW across state lines. Oh, uh, re re it should be. Reciprocity. reciprocity. Yeah, yeah reciprocity. and also the um, the the sil the silencer thing was reintroduced too. Yeah, um, the, we've got. I hope you get something going on that. That would be good. But yeah. you know, um, I don't hold your breath. <laughs> yeah, don't hold so, your breath. So, uh, Simpson Road Larry wants to know what happened to three strikes. Three strikes is not in effect. In I don't even know if it's in effect in California. Which, by the way, California got a new governor that's super. Super, 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 super. Oh, Jerry super. Brown, he's nothing new. Or, or no, not no, new? Jerry Brown is out. Oh. Gavin Newsom is in. Oh, yeah, oh, he's in. He, no, he, no, he was mayor of uh, Los Angeles, wasn't he? Yeah. No, not Newsom. Newsom, uh, San Francisco. San Francisco. Yeah, I was say, the, yeah. guy, the guy I that's think, the mayor of uh, L.A. was uh, Hispanic. Yeah, I think Newsom was, wasn't Newsom the guy that was married to Seven of Nine? Oh really? Try to do some freaky deaky stuff. Someone's oh, gonna have to look yeah, that yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was he was a weirdo yeah. too. How you dare some... you try to do that? I would try to do the same How freaky just, deaky stuff. Just a reminder: Newsom right, right. was the mayor of San Francisco when they had all of the problems with people shitting in the street and spreading disease. Oh, they just still saying. do. Just saying. <laughs> and if yeah. and if you and if you don't. If you got seven and nine and you're not taking care of that, then yeah. If you mess that if you're if you're if you've got <laughs> oh seven and nine God. and you mess that up, yeah, you got some issues. Yeah. yeah. What you're is just, wrong with you? are just plain stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Your pimping needs to improve. <laughs> you're just a stupid though. <laughs> no, that's uh yeah, Jerry Ryan. Yeah. Jerry Ryan oh, is seven yeah. and nine. That's who we're talking about. Seven and nine, yeah. I think that's who Gavin Newsom. Okay, someone looked that up and confirmed that for me. She married seven and nine. She was she was married to some guy from San Francisco, like a mayor or something like that. And I think it was Gavin Newsom. Well, Howard um, um Richard Hughes says wrong. He was dating Kimberly um Gilfoyle. Gilfoyle. But I used think to be before on that. News. Wasn't Trump, it before that? Trump's uh, son is doing Gilfoyle now. Um Gilfoyle is no seven of nine. No, seven and nine was she's cute, but she's not seven yeah, of nine yeah. category. So, you know, um, so yeah, I thought um, that way back in the days he was, uh, he was married to seven of nine. We got to look that up and see, I'm not sure. you know, um, hey, I found a picture of the blue handguard. Let's see if this okay. works. Okay. So Gavin Newsom was dating Guilfoyle. Blah, blah, blah. Maybe he that was wasn't the guy who was married to maybe. Yeah. Maybe that wasn't the seven of nine. Guilfoyle with no makeup is scary fugly. There I haven't go. seen it with no makeup. Yeah, a lot of uh, there's. Oh, hold on, let me lock it on you here. Man. Okay. Tampa Bay Lightning Blue. It looks awesome. That looks good. Yeah. You know what would fix that? A well, no. I yeah, it looks pretty good like that. You don't want to have too much. You don't want to have too much blue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A blue stock and maybe a blue grip, but maybe a blue um, buffer tube buffer, underneath. Maybe it. yeah, a blue buffer tube might look pretty good. Just to add that little bit on the back, yeah, yeah. I might yeah. do that for him. His birthday's coming up. I might, I might get him a blue buffer cube. <laughs> oh, <I'm so> blue. <laughs> You're such a good son. Okay, That's let's. Right. Uh, I'm trying to, I'm trying to find out. I can't, I can't find, I can't confirm that. So I'm just gonna say I was totally wrong. 
until maybe that wasn't who Seven of Nine was married to. Who knows? Yeah. Yeah. We've got right. toys to show off. Yeah. Okay. Let's show, off, show off. Let's show off the toys. Let's show off the toys. Why did you get? Oh. What, I, I got a toy for Christmas. I showed it off. And we were on Larry Zanoff, but I got me a got me a Bowfang uh, uh, UV. You got one. We oh, got a this Yesu. Is, I got a Yesu. We got to. I got to see if we can talk to each other. What? You just buy that? Uh, yeah, I bought it off of uh, eBay. You got a little like a year ago. Yeah. I've oh, had okay, it. okay, okay, okay. I've yeah, had cool. this thing. I just haven't really used I it. I feel left out now that I don't have no, it. No, you got to get one so can, we can all just, you know, yeah, chat I gotta, each other. I got to find out the repeaters around here. Um, There are some good uh, iPhone apps that give you uh, test questions if you want to study and like a whole, the whole book of repeaters, all the repeaters for like all the states and everything. Oh, really? Because, um, and this antenna that I have on mine now, yeah, I bought from an outfit that, uh, has an app for learning for, for passing the test and they use nice. the money from this to do all that stuff so okay by the way seven of nine was married to a different politician jack ryan so there you go okay yeah and he jack was a ryan. turd he, so he let's, did... just, let's not have any fake news going on out there <laughs> gavin newsom probably would have still been still been holding on to seven of nine if he could get that yeah well i, I tell you what ain't fake Gil news. Foyle, i Gil Foyle, i agree with him i would i would I can tell you what ain't fake news and seven and nine ain't fake news. So. No. There you go. That's that's all the repeaters here in Gainesville. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So how so what's the range of these radios? Well, if you bounce off a repeater, technically get, we could talk to each other. You can go you can, forever. You can talk to like the the uh international space. Your station. white balance is way off now. I, know. White balance I gotta do off. like this. Um, so um and depending on the antenna yeah. you have. Um, which makes if you had an external like wire antenna, I got to forget the technical name for it. That really increases your range. It's called a dehanculator. That's the <laughs> yeah, you can you can go. I mean, you can catch. I've heard of people talking to people in like Japan. You can oh. you can talk to I people mean, over in Japan, and you have to the, have a sufficient. Back sound. in the day, back in the day when I had my uh, sideband thing set up on my CB with a forty watt amp, I talked to people in freaking New York State and different. If the yep. skip is in right, you, you skip off the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. Um, yeah. Ionosphere. Yeah. 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 So, um, oh, by the way, this is from uh, someone sent me this. This is their Christmas present. Looks like a Spyderco. Uh, I don't know how knife. good that's showing up there, Spyderco. So, um, Walter, were you going to show us off? Show off some of your Christmas presenty stuff. Uh, well, let's see. I got and uh, people are talking about Guilfoyle or Seven of Nine. Who's hotter? <laughs> I, go, I say seven of nine. Wait, seven of nine. Without yeah. any makeup, I'll take seven. Seven of nine all day. Yeah. <laughs> oh oh yeah. So so my my uh, police trading gun came in over winter break. This and is a uh, police trading Glock twenty one. A little bit of holster wear. That's it. Yeah, that's that's really it. Three hundred and twenty dollars for that. One um, came through. Then, the one came through the shop the other day. It just had a little bit of scuffing on the plastic for the most part, and it was all right. So, so um, I did, and I ended up calling. It's so crazy the story of where these come from. Came from Austria, obviously. This was an imported gun. Uh, I called Recoil where I bought it from. It went to Broward County. So this was a Miami gun. Once that once Broward County sold off their twenty ones, it they bought it up, I guess, and then it came right back to Florida when I bought it. Yeah. A lot of times that stuff will go back through Glock. Yeah, I don't know how that works. They buy them. I've them. seen them where they're like rehabbed. Yep. And then they and then they then they send them back out. Yeah, but this thing this thing for three twenty is like perfect shape. Plus, I ordered a barrel for it, so I finally my today my threaded barrel came in, and I finally have a suppressed forty five again. It's been like a year since I've had a forty five to suppress. So we're gonna be doing some shooting next time. I can actually get out to Hank's place and, and yeah. try it. Now let me yeah. ask you this question: How many people out there are the kind of people? That when they have their guns transferred through someplace, track the tracking, and oh, immediately when day. the gun when the gun, when the gun winds up in the place, they 100%. have to immediately have that gun. How many people? Put they, your hands up. Let's oh, see. Yeah. Not they, myself, they, but we two have, hands up right here. Two hands up. <laughs> we do transfers for people, and, and they they're watching it, and they show up as soon as that freaking thing hits oh, the door. Boom. Fuck yeah! I am yeah, so I'll excited just, when my new gun comes in. I am pumped. <laughs> I want to go get him. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> harassing him because he did that to me. He did that to me. I made Hank walk out into the rain in his underwear to go pick up my gun. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> so that thing got delivered to me because obviously I'm the FFL it goes through. And immediately, immediately, <laughs> Babyface is like, yeah, so what's my gun? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? Where's my gun? No, I was like that too. Until now, I'm the person that people are doing it to. I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that is the boo butt says he uh, he's done it before. When he gets there at seven forty five. Place closes at seven. That is the worst. <laughs> uh, Especially if it's like on Friday and then open back up on Monday. Oh, that's torture knowing your gun is just so. I could just picture Muba is sitting like looking through the bars and just <laughs> like where is it? It's in there somewhere. Uh, yeah. And there's a little tear running down the side. It's like <laughs> no, but you okay. If he got there at seven fifteen, usually gun stores are still open. But I'm sure they they were like, "Hell no, uh, we're yeah. not opening for you." Yeah, I, I had I, an extra day, but I hate to enough. say this, but you have to train your customers. Yeah, <laughs> because if you make if you make it if you say oh, I'll be here for you, and they'll expect that then. So Hank, Hank, there ain't no training me, so don't even try. Uh, yeah. No, I know. I was like, I'm, I gave you up. Know I, I, I gave up on that a long time ago. <laughs> Patrick is not going for it. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, sure, okay. Then I'll just feel guilty. It's like uh, he does the same thing to me that uh, Neckbone does to him. Puppy dog face. Oh, Hank, is yeah. my is my clock there? Yeah. Can I come get? Uh, Moobot says it was today. I know that hurts. Oh <laughs> that hurts. God, it's awful. <laughs> that's oh, so man, painful. That's got to be painful. Yeah. Oh, I know. My, other, my other purchase I got in today. If you guys, you know, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you see all this cool shit that I did. I did see that. I, I know. I was I was super excited about this one. Oh. eBay, my eBay purchase. This is a uh, test indicator. It's a Starrett or Starrett, however you want to pronounce it. Starrett test indicator. What uh, is it? Because, um, so it's used for milling and lathing using a milling machine or a lathe to it's make sure your work. Tool. Yeah, to make sure your work is nice and straight. Mm -hmm. uh, I tried Walter the other day. Tried putting that block of aluminum in there and working a little bit. Yeah. Holy shit! That well, the head and the the what should we call it are so far out. Not even close. Oh, don't forget I took it apart and cleaned it. Completely. Oh, okay. And then put, it, put it back on. Put the mill back together. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, well, th and those pieces you got from me are not probably too square either. So. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna have to square them up as well. They were scrap, so yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna have to right. I'm gonna have to get some blocks and and square it up and then go again. But okay. this will this will let me tram in the whole milling machine, which is awesome. Um, did I already show the street bog thing earlier in the show? Uh, no. Well, you can show it again. Okay. Uh, but, and by the way, uh, S Man seventy two ninety says he still hasn't gotten his Christmas present. Um, you know, there's lots of people that we because we gave away stuff all in December. Most of the people should have gotten stuff. But Lola did a lot of mailing, so I think there's just a few more things that need to get mailed. But lots was, of stuff well, I've got a couple things that was from me. If it was from me, I don't know who got what. I got I got one thing from somebody with his name and all his stuff, but it didn't say what he actually got, so I didn't send it out. But but if you get if you were supposed to get something from me and you didn't get it, um, reach out to us again. Message me with your info and what you what you were supposed to get, and we'll get it out to you. WTF at safetyharborfirearms.com. <laughs> yeah. Vanessa well, here's, said she didn't receive anything at. either. I, I know there's something that's going to Vanessa. Kate. We like Lola. Lola told me today that she spent three hundred bucks mailing stuff last huh? month. Yeah, holy. Last Christ. month. Remember, we we were mailing every single day we were on. We were giving away stuff. I know. So just FYI, but there is there are things that are going to be coming out there. So, so if you got it. something, Merry Motherfucking Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no. yeah, Walter, show us the adapters. We got to talk All about right. them before we get. New from Safety Ever Firearms today, a hot off the press for the Streebog SP nine A one. That's from Grand Power, uh, or adapter to use AR type stocks for the back. That's the first thing. Um, we'll be making those when we get back from shot. If anybody wants some of those, they're not available quite yet. We gotta wait till we get back from the shot show. Um, we're a small shop and there's lots of things going on all at the same time. So um, yeah. Richard Hughes says he did not get his the Audi R8 for a week. Did you lose my address? Richard, Richard you got a ride in the Audi R8. That was your gift. Keep waiting, Richard. It'll show up one day. Just keep waiting. Yeah. Um, oh, wait. I have to get Richard Hughes to help me sign up for my Bitcoin account. I don't think I showed off so my new AK. Probably, let's be nice to Richard until I get signed up for, for <laughs> Bitcoin. Bitcoin account. Yeah. <laughs> what's okay? What's up with the AK? I need to do that too, so people can pay me with Bitcoin. Yeah, Modernize. Look at that. Yeah, we all need to do it. I'm, I'm sure Babyface can take Bitcoin. I can set that up. It's not hard. Oh okay. 
Um, Russian Zinico B11 handguard on the bottom with uh, kick rail. Got myself a Tango Down grip, a Magpul grip. This thing is like it all good. tactical out. Oh, it's great. So let me explain. Babyface went from 1989 crank off from the word to new school. Crank -off. Oh, yes. Next thing I want is some night vision and one of their IR illuminators. <laughs> Uh, you must oh, look that's all. Is that all? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Round, if anyone round... out there can get those things to us. <laughs> yeah, Please all right. Us round, round two for the street bog. We are making a collapsible stock. And this is not finished yet because that will be anodized and everything else. But this is what she'll look like um, for the so street bog. Um, there will be a tail hook version also. That is actually f um, the prototypes of that are already done. There was pictures on Instagram on, and Facebook today of that. Um, so I have no fear. The tail hook is here. Um, but anyways, if, if you're going to SHOT Show, come by the booth, check it out. 20613 at SHOT, and uh, you get to touch it yourself. Oh, one thing I wanted to mention to you there, Patrick, is um, is uh, your, your, your canine behind you. Mm -hmm. Have you seen the new dog flick? That's the the touchy feely dog movie that's out right now. Oh yeah, the dog's purpose with the one that got lost and gets lost and finds its way home and has no. I feel like I would cry my eyes out. I can't watch. I that. think it, it's like a knockoff of a uh, of Buckshot. Does it look just like him? Very similar. Oh yeah. man, I'm gonna have, what's except, it? What's except it there's a there in that trailer. In that trailer, there's a part where that dog comes across a mountain lion. Buckshot and they love each other. They Buckshot other. would have tried to fight that mountain lion and definitely been eaten. <laughs> a dog way home. Oh man. Yeah, Buckshot would try to fuck up a mountain lion. <laughs> <laughs> he's crazy enough to do it and die. He even as he's dying, even as he's dying, he'll be up there. The mountain fight. lion would come up to him and be like, "This thing's way too stupid." This is I don't crazy. know if it was I'm like a, a full-on mountain lion or uh, just like a a young one or something, but it was really, I saw that trailer and it was very touching. Oh, um, <laughs> so uh, shout out to Chris B. Chris B bought himself a uh, Olight for Christmas. Ooh, uh, cool. And Chris. yeah. And also shout out to the fire, uh, firearm uh, fanatic, the uh, fanatic brothers, as I call them, one of them's in the chat, if not both of them, shout out to those guys who probably need to get them back I here saw, on the show. I don't know if it was what the deal was. I saw an Olight for sale. I don't know where it was. I can't remember for forty nine dollars. Mm -hmm. And okay. I think I Could paid. Be. I think I paid sixty something for the one I had. So it's like I'm happy with my stolen one. It's it's worked pretty well for for theft. Yeah. Oh, oh, five finger <laughs> discount. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so real quick, if Olight is out there listening, for the love of God, please make some sort of magnetic in cap. It just it doesn't yeah. even need to be magnetic. Just a piece of steel that that's pops over everything. Jesus Christ! I'm tired Walter, of my keys. That would be a mind. that would be a great thing to see and see, Walter. Yeah, but how do you? How it just do you needs make, to be a steel cup. Yeah, but it, well, even if you put a metal cap on there, it's still going to be magnetic, isn't it? Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna flow through. It's gonna magnetize the steel. So you need a piece of lead with an a <laughs> opposite. Oh magnet. come on! <laughs> so it has no no magnetism. <laughs> None yeah, that's the only thing you, need a, you need a dick butt cap on there. I'm going to have to get my unobtainium. Un un oh, oh, fuck. Unobtainium? <laughs> yeah, I got to open that mine back up. <laughs> yeah. By the way, um, one of the things, you know, let me shout out Franklin Armory that does sponsor the podcast. We got to shout them out. I know that they're probably going to have some things for shot show. I'm going to reach out to them and find out. I think they're going to have the, they're, they're going to probably have the Reformation coming out, but uh, I've seen them putting stuff out there for the ref Reformation. Which uh, that looks pretty cool, Walter. What the hell is that? What do you think? That's a muzzle cool? device of some sort, right? Yes, it is. This is a yeah. flash hider for a 50 cal. Holy! A, a clamp-on flash on hider. Clamps on. Yeah, I got this. This was made by B. Myers, the guy that do. Is all that the from like 1822 or something? No, this is uh, a. It's not well. I don't know if they still use it or not. Like I said, it's a clamp-on. So. Oh, they make them all nowadays. Strap-on. So, Strap-on. Um, Strap-on. <laughs> I got your strap on right here. But it uh, was made by B.E. Myers, which is the guys that do a lot of night vision for the military. So um, I never tried it out because I don't know how much muzzle braking it does, but it's supposed to be a hellacious flash hider. So um, I bought it from somebody who. It looks good. I think it looks good. Um, gets things. So mm -hmm. I love that type of stuff. Um, so I think Justin is telling me that he likes Kimberly Gilfoyle. 
I'm not saying I'm not saying that I will shove Kimberly no. Guilfoyle out of no. the uh, you know out of the orgy or whatever. I'm not saying that. You know, but if you if, if you had to choose, if I one had of choices. The I'm going seven of nine first. Yeah. Kimberly Guilfoyle seems real crazy. Not that seven of nine doesn't seem crazy, but well, some, there's levels of craziness that you would take a chance for, and then there's levels where I think like you know it's not pass. Yeah. So. Um, so Christian Gress says, how about a Franklin Armory Reformation giveaway here on the podcast? Yeah. I have to talk to those guys. I know people don't like the Reformation, but here's something I got to tell you guys. Franklin Armory is doing these things because of all these laws in different places where you can't have this thing or that thing. And they're trying to develop things for you guys. The Reformation so that, is the pellet rifle, right? It's, well, it's not. I don't, it's like no, a dart. I, it's a dart. Yeah, it doesn't have it doesn't have the normal lens and grooves. It's a dark gun, basically. Yeah, it doesn't have the rifling. Right. Okay. The normal rifling. Here's the thing, man. If you guys, so I know people will say, "Well, I don't need that because I could just get a rifle." If you don't stand up for your rights, you're gonna need that. So yes, it would be better if you didn't have to have that. I totally agree with it. But yeah. there's a lot of people out there nowadays that are not standing up for their um, for their God-given constitutional right. Oh. Seven of nine. Baby face just sent you me put a there. picture of seven up there? Oh, I got to check uh, it out. Yeah. <laughs> she got her clothes on? Barely. Oh, my. Yeah. Got to work. Yeah. Bingo. Yeah. So, uh, <laughs> she was the sci-fi in me. Yeah. <laughs> so, listen, there. I think that, you know, I think that seeing these kind of weird things out there, I know people don't get everything. They don't understand it and all that kind of stuff. It's all good. Another thing I did see, by the way, on Instagram, um, Full Conceal was showing that They've got a prototype of an all metal M3D. So the Glock 19 that falls, oh, they've got an yeah, all nice. metal. Does that? Nice. Are you guys interested in that? Something nice. like that? Nice. I you like the like idea of all metal, metal, Walter. Uh, well, I mean, Tyvin would, but. Um... Oh. <laughs> okay, we all know Tyvin is with that. <laughs> um, no, that's cool. That's cool because there are, there are all metal lowers for Glocks. Oh, the Glock pattern metal lowers. Yeah. We'll okay. See. Okay. Yeah. What that's do you not, think? That, that's not anything new. That's been around for quite some time. But okay. What do you think, Patrick? You like the all metal? I would like to see it because you know when I you talk about all metal Glock, uh, the Hudson H9. Mm -hmm. I love that gun. So maybe it would be pretty awesome. Yeah, mm. Hudson. You know what? I need to get a Hudson. I don't get excited about the Hudson. You don't like the Hudson? I like. I didn't say I don't, I don't like it. I just don't get excited about it. Didn't you? Oh, didn't you shoot great. one, Walter? I thought you did, you shot one, right? Can't you had it out there one day. I don't think yeah. I got a. I, I think I forgot to shoot it. That's how excited I was about it. Uh, okay. Yeah. I mean, I don't own it. I think we borrowed that from someone. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it was. We, it was beg, borrow, and, and steal. Yeah. Was that Joe's? I think it, maybe Joe. Or someone. Somebody. Yeah. It's awesome. Uh, it feels so good to hand. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I never got one of those. Um, I think you know. I don't know. I don't need an all metal gun personally. Mm -hmm. I don't. Oh. So I know there's people that want that. So, and S-Man7290 says, Colin Noir just posted a full conceal video. Okay, good. Hopefully that will float my videos up. I'm waiting. He for better the... not put it in no damn My Ooh. Little Pony. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, you know, uh, okay, I don't think he well, has to do that. He's going to put it in a bag full of exposition is what he's going to yeah. do. Because <laughs> that man talks way too much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm waiting for someone, because here's what I'm really waiting for. As uh, Larry Zanoff said, this is going to be in movies. So the folding, the folding Glock's going to be in movies. It didn't <laughs> and if they say, use the damn My Little Pony thing to pull it out, no. then you got to sue. Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> that's a violation of our <laughs> of our trademark. Game on, man. Game on. Yeah. Um, I know uh, Firearm Fanatic said Full Conceal wanted to do a folding canic, but we couldn't get enough interest. I know that they they are planning, from what I've heard, on doing like uh, P365 folding. And some other guns that are out there folding. So we'll see how what that happens goes. when they do a Springfield. Not that one. Yeah. <laughs> Not that. That's where I, I have limits. You, you have morals. <laughs> <laughs> that is where I draw the line. That's it. Right there. I draw the line on that. And Jumpy Killer QX says 10, says 10 millimeter for life. Okay, fine. <sighs> Um, so listen, so before we're going to probably start wrapping up here in a second, but we're going to, I'm going to try to do for the next week and a half, we'll try to talk about things that are coming out for SHOT Show. 
and all that and other stuff that's going on here. We'll try to get some people to come on and talk about SHOT Show and everything. So let us know what you guys are looking forward to seeing up at the SHOT Shows, and we'll try to keep you – we'll try to do that for you. Also, while I'm out there, you can get in touch with me. Patrick knows how to do that, but you all should know how to do it too. I've got a phone number. I've got social media, all those places. So if while I'm out there, there's things that maybe you're not seeing, let me know, and then Lola and I will go check that that thing out and see if we can get a because video up because I think that's what's the best thing. It's real easy at the SHOT Show to miss something. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff. Yeah, a lot of things yeah. to see. Yeah, you got to have yeah. a list and check it twice, and you know. Yeah. No matter what comes out, it's really, really, really tough because there's going to be so many things there, and I am trying to expose companies and things like that that don't get these big media bumps and all that. So, um, that's a that's oh. a big thing that I'm going for. Christian guest folding high point maybe. <laughs> Um, can I tell you something? That would go viral. So I'd be oh, all yeah, yeah. as, as, as a content oh, creator. Uh, that could can be a, we? Is that it could worth, be a parody video, though. I is got it an worth idea, buying a hundred dollar high point and just taking it to the bandsaw? Is that is it worth throwing that kind of money uh, down the if toilet? Walter will make the folding mechanism, although focus he'll probably soon a little daylight. I'm having, an, I'm having an I'm having an idea. <laughs> oh, oh look, Walter's thinking about it right now. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't know how well it'll work, but I'm having an idea. It could be done, Walter. It could be done. Well, anything can be done if you got enough yeah. damn time. Yeah, you know, maybe we'll ask the full conceal guys. No, 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 no. Just send us the just send us the uh, machine. You want to be banished forever? <laughs> I mean, what happens? It, it could happen. It could happen. Okay, so um, all right. So let's see. Uh, also, I want to remind people: Harry's holsters. It's Hank Strange that gets you ten percent off. Check Harry's holsters out. Um, also, uh, Fort Scott Munitions that we we've been burning through a lot of their ammo. We have a whole bunch more to burn through. Mm -hmm. uh, ten percent off. You can it's uh, Hank ten for ten percent off there. Okay, so let's go, Babyface. Uh, what do you really want to see at Shot Show, and what's oh, going God. on with you before we get out? I have no idea. Nothing uh, has excited you yet at Shot from. Definitely not the Glocks. Uh, well, I'm gonna I have think to go see. I gotta go see that single single stack Glock. I gotta eh. touch it. Eh. And I'll I gotta, it. I gotta Is go. it in stores already? Is it in stores already? I don't. I, don't I doubt it. No. Yeah. I know. Once I saw the Mossberg, I started looking for it, and I guess there's already been some of those sold. Really? Yeah. Oh, so those are already out. Too? I thought those were press copies that were out there. But I don't know. You go into different yeah. gun buying websites, and. They said out of stock, out of stock. So I don't know if they ever had, hadn't even had it in stock yet. But. No, that's because they're loading it into the system. Um, uh, Morpheus W gave us five bucks. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. Yes, so babyface, nothing. That, okay, what would you? What's your? What's your thing that you hope someone makes a shot show? God, you really put me on the spot. I don't know. All right. Okay. So you're gonna have I'm looking, to. I'm, I'm. I'm. I want something cool and exciting. Not. I, I'm tired of the uh, same old. You same want old. a Glock carbine? Uh, that. 22 magnum revolver thing looked cool so far that's kind of top in my list okay um um cz's making a p10 subcompact pot that nah, nah, sub sub compact they're also making a p10 super uncompact oh okay it's a 19 <laughs> round magazine oh well <laughs> speaking of cz's and metal i just want a cz 75 it's a good it's guns on, you it's should on get my one. list of it. it's classic yeah 75 you should get an English high point as well. High point. High Actually, power. I just saw that the Turks are making a high point now, too. High um, point or high power? Oh, it's a high power. Not high, high power. power. Excuse yeah. me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, it, I would I would love to get myself an English high power at some point, but I have a browning one, but I don't have a an yeah. English. With the English, one. it's um, the with English the is, side on the back. In, yeah, with the Englishes aren't uh uh, they don't fall on their NFA laws. They are exempt from NFA. So okay, you can so you put the stock on. Yep. Yeah. Does anyone have the Mossberg pistol that they made, that twenty two? Because it actually looks interesting. That they How made. old is it? No, no, from? That's from the 30s, the I think. Yeah, oh, God, yeah, no. it's back way back in I think they stopped making them in the sixties. I've never seen one in person. So yeah, I would like to uh I would like to get my hands on one oh, of those. That'll be interesting. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So babyface, what's going on with you? How can the people follow you? You were mentioning um, Instagram. Yeah, so so I don't post a lot on YouTube anymore. It, it's not my format. But if you want to find me on Instagram, I'm posting like almost daily. I got a crazy shit. It's either dogs or guns. So you either like buckshot slash neckbone, or it's gonna be guns, um, which is baby underscore face p. So baby underscore face p. Yeah, and, and buckshot buckshot made it home too. 
He did. He is not yeah, still yeah. on the run. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you it's better made. post on YouTube, man, because you're the backup to the backup of the backup. Oh, if we go down, I we know, have to go live with... from Babyface P down. Oh, you can go from um, you can go from uh, appliance death from or, motor, or, or mower or, death or yeah. lawnmower death. Do you death, have live death. turned on? I don't uh, think so. No. I don't know. I haven't yeah. been there in a while. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Cool. Fine. I don't know how many million views I have already or something. I don't know. Yeah. Check out Babyface B. Check him out. Um, we'll get something. We'll get something going. Okay, Walter. And how can people find you? Uh, and, and also remind the people of your booth number. Facebook, Instagram. If you're going to the Shot Show, we are at two zero six one three in law enforcement in the big, nice, big ballroom where Daniel Defenses and all those other big names are. Um, up against the wall, two zero six one three. Yes, um, and I will be there hanging out from time to time. Yes, 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 and other internet celebrities might stop by, so you never know who you're going to see. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Don't count on it though. Um, anyways, so yeah, um, Instagram, Facebook, um, and that links to Twitter too. Um, just get ready for shot. Actually, our containers leave on Wednesday, so after that, it's. Uh, we leave to go to shot on the 21st, I believe it is. So, um, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. All right, cool. All right, so to everyone that's joining us, I know we're running a little bit late. I want to thank everyone for coming back, joining us. We had a lot of people on here with us tonight. Really appreciate it. Uh, missed you guys over the, you know, every time something crazy came up in the news, I was like, damn. Oh, damn. Yeah, but I did have fun hanging out with the family and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, so I'm off. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. I don't know, Walter, if you're coming back tomorrow or not. I got to. We'll get that sorted. That's a good chance. Yes, we'll get that sorted. We'll see Babyface here again. He will figure out what he wants to know from SHOT Show. Oh, anybody in the chat here have, any, have an extra M1 carbine hammer laying around they don't need? M1 carbine military hammer? I need one. Uh, is this a specific hammer? for? What, did you M1 put it on carbine again? M1 carbine. It's got to be for a oh. carbine. M1 carbine. <laughs> I need one for this uh, this not military one, but this will take military parts. So, yeah, M1 carbine hammer. If you got an extra one laying around. Oh, there goes that gun, the brownie, for like less than 200 bucks. Don't say anything. There's only one on on, on gun broker. Oh, wow. People. There's that, like one for sale, really? Yeah. yeah don't say I anything. didn't say where it was what? deliberately. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're out of here. We'll wow. see you guys tomorrow. Thanks for joining us. Peace. We're out. We'll see yeah. you guys. Have a nice